What's going on, everybody? Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. To another episode of I Don't Know If Our Audio Sounds Good or Not, so please <laughs> let us know. We have to hope. We just have to hope. I'm it gonna, never I'm gonna turn the down. Same. It's okay. It's, it is the same. I just, I'm turning down the background music just a little. I know it's like the hype music, but yeah. I turned it down a little bit so that people could hear us. Because mm. I've noticed sometimes when I watch the stream back, I'm like, wow, we made that loud. <laughs> was the last one too loud? Uh, No, it's not that it was too loud. It just, it felt like, like we were trying to scream over the top mm, of it, which, you know, mm, whatever. Mm. But the chat will let us know. Yeah. Let know. us know if the music is audible and hype enough because I like it hype on Attack it's true. the Block Print. I like it hype too. Three. Episode three of Attack oh, yeah. the Block Print, our brand new show. Forget everything in the past. Only the last three episodes matter. <laughs> Did you see Octil? What are you writing? <laughs> Sing real quick. Let's see. Sing real quick. Let's <laughs> Absolutely see. Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> On a cold and gray Chicago moon. Absolutely not. <laughs> another little baby talk is born. Baby talk You get you get Peter singing. Baby talk You know, I Free. just realized Peter. You know, sometimes yep. Peter uses this camera like when he's doing meetings and stuff. Yep. And for some reason, he has it tilted slightly to the right. I don't know why so that I look, is. I look like. <laughs> Yeah. I look like I'm leaning away from I have, everybody. I'm sorry. I have no idea why that is. You I refuse to, to change that nah, right now. Just leave it alone. Yeah, well, just just tilt it. yourself. I'm just going to tilt myself. Yeah. Just so, yeah, if you're watching over here on Instagram, you're in the wrong spot. I just have this here as the shame corner. So if you're watching over <laughs> here, go to YouTube uh, and join us. We're having a print drop. We're doing live artwork. Look at me. I'm dressed in full camouflage. Isn't that enough? Uh, tonight's a very special night because almost a year to the day... Last year, we released uh, the Godzilla versus Takoro, my most momentous print release up until that point. And the that's, one that proved to us that the Matrix is real. Yes. Because, tell them. Yeah. The, Gabby and I always joke around, uh, and it's starting to not feel so much like a joke, where we say, I think we're in the Matrix or in a Matrix or in a simulation. Definitely a Matrix. Yes. And therefore, if that's the case, why don't we just act like it and just will <laughs> things into existence? <laughs> and uh, that does not mean we just sit around and, and think of something and hope it happens. Like we have an idea. We go, OK, well, this is crazy. But what would it take to make it possible? And let's just start doing all the things. Yes that would require, you know, like, like a domino effect. Let's try to, uh, you know, implement a domino uh, rally here. And so mm -hmm. one of the things, you know, I always wanted to try to achieve was to put Takoro in one of these Godzilla prints that I had been releasing over the uh, couple of years. And it, lo and behold, I think because we had done so many at that point that had sold out and people were very happy with them and Toho was very happy with them and the Godzilla figure had come out that at that point um it wasn't that crazy of an ask so right. the fact of the matter is I was the hardest secret to keep that they were allowing me to put Godzilla and Takoro together not only that but name Takoro in the print. He's visibly named in Japanese, of course. But for those of you who know, <laughs> you know that that's uh, Takoro's name in Japanese. And man, every time I look at it, I can't believe it. I slaved away over it. Yeah. Um, no, it was almost impossible for me to do. In fact, let's do a little uh, art cam real quick ahead of the schedule here. Sure. Art cam real quick. These are... One second. Well, yeah. Actually, go ahead and do art cam. At, when oh, you're, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Second, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna give you. I can't, I can't, but I'm gonna ruin all, all everything. Okay, okay, then just show the uh, show the I'm art turn print. Everything do you have the art print image? I know, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay. Give me a second, I'm gonna turn okay. off that. Okay, uh, oh god, I know it's okay, it's gonna look shitty, guys. Just just get ready for this. Okay, I was not prepared for what Peter's asking. I'm just wanting to, to see art second. cam, that's all I wanted to see is art okay, cam. There you go. Yeah. Okay. That's what you get. So <laughs> art here, look. So this is essentially what is uh, a series of rejected Takoro heads and rejected by me. So I, I drew and carved Takoro's head four times before I landed on the one that's in the print. So the one in the print uh, is none of these. It's taped to the linoleum and I have it uh, put away somewhere, but it is a fifth design. So I was so concerned with making sure that Takoro in this print looked great that I did him four different times. One of them, he was getting Incredible. his ass whooped too much. 
I well, actually really like that one. Yeah, I like them all. I just, this one couldn't be the one, no. right? This one, he was looking a little too big for his body. And then this one looked a little too small for his body. And then this <laughs> one, he just looked like an old timey cartoon. So I just ditched it. But they're all cool. I like them all. The funny thing is, I have prints, like one or two prints with each of these heads on them as I tested them. And so one day I'll have to release those uh, for my Patreon subscribers to pick up if you want them. Oh. They're very rare. But yeah, so that's that. So let's go back and show off if we have an image of... Do we have an image of the print handy, my love? I don't. Not oh, right okay. now. I can pull one up for, for a little later, but yeah. I don't have okay. one right now. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, go back to our regular talking head thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, tonight you'll be able to pick up a copy of Godzilla versus Takaro, very limited, uh, very special edition. And these uh, prints will include something very special. A special Aha. edition baby Takaro yeah. stamp. We love it. Hold we on. Love it. There it is. So this will be at the bottom of every single one of these uh, special edition prints. But because I said... And I want to make sure Gabby's ready. I know the last time I overwhelmed her. You are overwhelming me right now with all of these random things you're doing on the stream, but please. Can we do a giveaway now? Not right, 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 right now. Okay. But we are going to do it during the stream. Well, I want to do two. And I want to do one oh, early. Oh, okay. Well, give me like, give me a minute. I'm okay. almost done. So then switch me back to art camp so I can start the uh, carving. It. Just gonna so yeah, we're sure going to do. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we it looks fine. I'll put on the news in a second. Everybody just needs to relax. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So uh, we are going to do a uh, carving tonight. I'm going to be doing some giveaways. And then by the end of the stream, we will have a released the Godzilla versus Takaro AP print. So very excited about that. But here he is, not to bury the lead, the Toxic Avenger. I'm going to start uh, working on this tonight. And you know how it goes. Uh, last two times, we started with uh, Skeletor on episode one to celebrate the release of the Mondo Skeletor deluxe figure. Then last week we did uh, Godzilla, the Godzilla portrait. And this specific one was based on the 1984 uh, Godzilla uh, suit from the movie. Uh, God, I think it's Godzilla Returns. I can't remember the fucking name of it, uh, but it was Godzilla 1985 <laughs> or 1984. I think it was. Uh, yeah, you can let me know in the chat. And then today, today, tonight, I'm doing the Toxic Avenger. So I just sketched this guy up. And like all three of these are really just studies. Sometimes I'll do things like this to kind of figure out what um, the character would look like in my style. So, you know, it's like a smaller, uh, not so focused on little details like the fingers or like environmental aspects, uh, but just focused on how I'm going to interpret the face design. So these are kind of studies like that. Doesn't mean I have a Toxic Avenger print planned right now. Don't read into it too much. <laughs> but by the time I do one, it we won't be the first time. Yeah, I won't. It love. won't be the first time I do it, which is cool. Let me see if I can straighten this out a little bit. How you doing over there in the assets situation? Oh, I'm getting there. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to show off that print in just a second. Okay. So I'm going to get going on this because, you know, sometimes this can take a little while. But in the meantime, uh, let's say hello to some of you guys in the chat. Yeah. Got Larry and Greg. The archive is there with the wrench, the wrench hammer in case anybody gets nutty. Geo Casillas, Franklin Biza, Colt, Harriman. Uh, Jason Winter, Dr. Wolf, uh, so many of you, so many familiar faces, so many new names. John Garcia, what's up? Uh, yeah, Voltron would be a good one in the future. And by the way, I still have Robotech APs that I've never released. So that might be coming up in a future stream. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, getting ready to start on this. So if you don't know, what I, if you're new to the stream, um, this is a piece of linoleum. It's mounted on a block of MDF particle board there. Uh, these are really cool because when they're done, they're kind of like little sculptures. You can you don't even have to frame them. You could just sit them anywhere and they'll stand on their own. Um, these are essentially smaller versions of what my linoleum block print stamps are. Uh, I carve an image like this, roll ink on the carving, and press the paper on and make the stamp. So this is going to be a start to finish one tonight. I am already hot. I'm taking off this jacket. Oh. Yeah, yeah it's too hot. It's getting warm, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> So let us get going. So I've already drawn it up. Someone asked last time, but I use like Sharpies 
and these white Faber-Castell markers to kind of create my design. Nothing too detailed, just kind of like big chunky markers to kind of get the rough design in. And it gives me an idea of what it's gonna look like. And of course, I always do everything in reverse of how it's gonna print. So technically, uh, Toxie's eye is usually on the uh, big bulging eyes on the other side. Uh, but in this case, I've uh, put it this way because when it prints, it'll print uh, the correct side. So I'm gonna get started on that. Some it. people were uh, messaging me and asking me, uh, how do you get those prints? Like, like the ones you're doing on Attack the Block print. How do you get that carving? How do you get those prints? You're not selling them on your site? Yeah, I'm not selling them on the site. Uh, these are just studies. These are not, you know, uh, for sale items. But as we've been talking about the last couple episodes, we are working on finalizing um, our Patreon uh, service. So we're going to be uh, setting up a Patreon for those of you who just want a little extra attacking. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> a little extra attackingness. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be opening it up so you'll be able to sponsor us, you know, basically uh, yeah. get a subscription membership with us. And for that uh, membership, we will be doing some extra private streams. We've decided that some movie watch alongs, like some watch parties together are going to be super fun mm -hmm. and right in line with what we normally like to do anyways. Um, you know, we can, uh, we'll be doing uh, giveaways of these prints and the carvings behind the Patreon. So it's a great way to get some extra artwork that you don't even have to buy. You'll just be able to win them. They won't be for sale. You'll be able to win them. Um, on the Patreon. And then another suggestion that we've received, and I'm not sure about this one just because of the logistics of it, but some people have asked, can Patre can it be possible for Patreon subscribers to get first dibs on something like tonight's drop? And I think that's a great idea. I'm just wondering if it'll work out um, or if it'll be just as difficult if the amount of Patreon subscribers grows. And suddenly it's like, you know, behind the paywall on Patreon, but you still can't get it. So I have to figure out how to word that so no one gets the wrong impression that they're entitled to buy one because they're a Patreon subscriber. It might just narrow the pool or maybe that would be like a higher tier. I'm not quite sure yet, but rest assured, I do think it's a great idea. And I would love to uh, reward those of you who are backing us on uh subscriber level like that get first dibs at the ap drops yeah we really do have to work out the kinks that's why we haven't um, yeah we're not launched it yet. it yet or launched it or yeah we don't want to do a shitty job with no. it and then so it's something that we just keep talking about it because we're working towards it yeah and uh we want you guys to know about it since you're always on the up and up with us that's true and their their help has been pretty much invaluable <laughs> to us getting this thing off the ground exactly. so we just want to make sure we do it justice yeah and um, uh while gabby's getting set up over there no, I, i'm ready to rock you, you want to see i don't have the i don't have an image of the baby Takaro giveaway print no but you it's okay uh, you but i do print. have images of the print and yeah. the sketch and all that that's stuff. fine okay so um there we go. Yeah. Look how much better that looks. There you go. I know. Isn't that cool? So yeah, that is the original sketch that I did for Godzilla versus Takaro. Um, the one that I submitted to Toho through Mondo. And this one uh, is pretty close to what we ended up doing. I, my goal with this one was to make sure that it didn't look like Godzilla was whooping Takaro's ass and it didn't look like Takaro was strangling Godzilla to death. It had to look like an even matchup. And so um, that took some time to figure out. Like, how do I make it look like they're fighting, but they're not whooping each other's ass? Because ultimately, they would be friends. Ultimately, I think so. They would, yeah, they yeah. would be friends. But you can get Taco's an idea. A nice guy. You can see. You can get an idea of how um, my sketches look. If you've never seen my sketches, they are quite crude. But um, fortunately, because you know I've worked so many times with talk uh, with uh, Toho that they already know not to expect too much from the sketches <laughs> and big shout out to Aaron and uh, Chris Maori, who was at to Toko, uh, who was at Toho uh, during this process and um, for their help, making sure that Toho understands my nightmare of a sketch, but there it is. And um, 
So from there, I don't know if you have the other images. I do. Hold on one second. There's. So there is the uh, Godzilla versus Takaro final print. And uh, yeah, can you make it a little bigger? I cannot. I'm sorry. No. Okay. Yeah. It's so an image slideshow, so it's just. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um, anyway, so that's the final print. And those are the ones that were sold last Comic-Con at the booth, at the Mondo booth. And so many of you guys who have been big supporters of my work and Takaro obviously weren't able to make it to Comic-Con and these sold out at the show. So there wasn't a real chance for those of you who wanted one to get one. And uh, we've been, it, it, it's been a hell of a year, I'll tell you that. So nor I would have expected this one to have come out a lot sooner, but with everything that's going on, it just we just weren't able to make it happen any sooner. But it's all good, because here we are. And those of you who are still with us are the ones that I really want to make sure get first dibs on this guy. And we are going to release them tonight. But yours will be a special edition. Yes. This was the one you're looking at is the regular edition. Yours will have the baby Takaro print at the bottom. And I think we have that one or two, right? That image. Which one? The special edition print. Uh, oh, there's some detail shots. This is nice. Yeah, you can show I these. Have detail shots. Yeah. These are the regular edition, but you get an, mm -hmm. an idea. Sorry, it's so small. It's just this is. This, this is what it's giving me. OBS is really failing me today. Very pretty. Yeah, you see the Just details. Detail shots. Yeah. Look at Godzilla looking And in this ass. print, I really uh, tried to make sure that Godzilla felt like yeah. the Godzilla that I designed for the figure. So it's really the first time I, I kind of like started to incorporate my final interpretation of what Godzilla looks like an attack Peter Godzilla mm -hmm. into the print. So uh that's a really cool part of it too so there's the head that i ended up going with for takaro and you can see that you know he's God like angry triumphant yeah they're just in battle they're, they're in, just battle. in battle yeah. they're fierce in battle together and godzilla's got uh takaro by the by one of the tentacles wrapped up right. pretty good and he's blasting him but it's only hitting takaro's armor thank god he's got it and then uh takaro does have a uh, tentacle wrapped around uh, Godzilla's neck to start a chokehold potentially, which is great. You like to see that kind of thing. We like it. It yeah. has to be. It has to be a good matchup. And Takaro is, as far as kaiju go, uh, Takaro is a grappler. Mm. He doesn't have any like the f laser breath or. Uh, he can't fly. Yeah. He doesn't. He's not even. He's probably the shortest kaiju, except for Angiris, who doesn't know how to stand up. <laughs> um, Poor Angiris. And so, you know, he's the smallest guy. He's got a cool shell. He's got that weird eye tech. Nobody knows what it does. And he's got uh, six tentacles and two really strong legs. So he can jump really high. He can grab things and suffocate them and press them against the shell, which will crush them. <laughs> But he's a grappler. He's like, yeah. he, that's his style. Okay, so there well, you go. We're back to the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I don't have an image of the baby Takaro special edition. Special yeah, edition. you do. We have it in the drive with uh, all the. Um, okay, give me a minute. The thumbnails. Yeah. I promise next stream all these images will be preloaded in for sure. <laughs> But yeah, so much uh, fun stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, there was big news that just dropped right before the stream. And that we will be getting uh, to it uh, soon. Because it is important stuff. Important stuff. And while I have your attention here before we get started with everything else. I will be uh, live tomorrow night on Collect All Monsters. Our good friend uh, Kyle Yount and David Dobko. Christine Chapin. Uh, Leslie. I mean... So, so many of our great friends, John Ruffin, uh, will be hopefully on a stream with us tomorrow. Uh, Hector will be joining us too, Hector Arce from Mondo, and we'll be talking about uh, the big news that dropped today and some more exciting uh, kaiju related news on their show. If you're not a fan or have, if you haven't subscribed to uh, Collect All Monsters, you're missing out. It's probably the most fun, it's like probably the only fandom that I know of that isn't there it is. uh, polarized and politically divided somehow. <laughs> yeah, there so there's it is. Your, that's what the print will look like, the special yes. edition one with the baby Takaro flying yeah. across the bottom of the screen there. There it is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what you're getting tonight if you get uh, a copy of the special edition Godzilla versus Takaro yes. uh, print. And by the way, tonight's drop will be at the Skybound store. 
Yes, and so that link will be dropped into the chat for you, but it tonight. will be in the Sky Bouncer, not our. So do not go to uh, attack Peter dot Inc. It will not be there. Yeah. You have to go to the tonight, Skybound store. Tonight's print is brought to you by the fine folks at Skybound, mm -hmm. and so they already have the prints. I've printed all of them. They're sitting there, ready to rock. Yeah, uh, Raf already mentioned it in the chat. Great. But for those of you who are not looking at the chat, which I know there are some of you, uh, those prints have already been. Printed, signed, and sent out to Skybound, so they will be handling um, processing and shipping. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, really great to know. A lot of people are excited when they know that once they order it, it'll be on the way very, very shortly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then an update while you get ready with the news. Um, uh, actually, if you want to prepare the first giveaway. Oh, um, yeah. You want to do the first giveaway? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, set it up. And then, uh, but one more update while Gabby gets that first giveaway ready. Um, the Mega Monsters Tour prints, the the uh, ones that we sold a couple of weeks ago, are all printed and all being packed up. They're drying, but they're uh, some of them are already dry. They're being packed up, and they will be shipping out soon. So check your inboxes. Make sure that our emails aren't going to spam. Uh, yeah, because tracking information and all that stuff is being sent to you automatically. Yes. So if you picked up one of those prints, you should have an email from the post office with your tracking information. I have not. I know it probably gave you the tracking information and said it was shipped a certain day. Ignore it. I have the pickup for all of the prints scheduled for tomorrow. So I would say probably like 90% of the prints are going out tomorrow. Um, there's 10% left that have not been shipped yet um, that we're working on because mostly they're international orders or there was something, you know, on email that I was working out. Um, so check your emails because I may have emailed you about a shipping address or something. But uh, suffice, it, suffice it to say, most of you will be getting your prints very, very soon. And some of you already got them. Oh, yeah. Well, we sent out a small batch already. Yeah, so yeah. some of you already have them. But for the rest of you, they are coming. I promise yes. you I was working on it all day today. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, I have the link ready for the giveaway. Let's so do a giveaway. this will be the first uh, Baby Talk Row, uh just standalone print. Yes. Correct? Yeah, just a little mini print of just Baby Talk Row because it is not... Uh, I'll do this. It's not for sale anywhere. You can also put it up no, real no, big okay. and I can transfer it no, over. No, that's cool. Right here in there. Oh, okay. It's not for sale anywhere, obviously. So this is the only way to get uh, a baby Takaro mini print, unless you uh, are lucky enough to grab a Godzilla versus Takaro print tonight. Right. So yeah. otherwise, this is the only way to get that little design. So yeah, let's do a little giveaway for baby Takaro right now. Okay, and boom. So it is in the chat. That's a link uh, for our... Uh, for the giveaway. Yeah, so that you can enter your information. We'll give you guys a few minutes, mm -hmm. and then we will pick a winner. Yes. In the meantime, I will pull up the news. Any intro music wait, for the wait. news? Yes, actually, we do. Entertainment news. Mm. Why don't we have a graphic? We have it. Hold on. Wait, we there have a news is. graphic? No, we don't have a news graphic. No, it's the thing. We need to get a news oh, graphic. Oh, I should make one. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want it to look like? It should just be like a thing that says, like, enter <laughs> or breaking news. news. And it just goes like this. <laughs> Oh, you spinning. want it like spinning, yeah, like like, uh, uh, like when the newspaper comes yeah. in and the cartoons. Yeah, or it's it'll like be cool news. if it has like the 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 war hog in it. Mm. Like, like breaking. Okay, news. I'll have to just learn animation yeah, real quick. No big please. deal. Gabby's been doing <laughs> such an awesome job on these uh, on behind oh, the scenes because in the last I don't know month or so, uh -huh. every time we're like, we need this. Do you know how to do it? No. No, but I'll but learn. I'll learn. And then by the end of the day, <laughs> she already knows how to do it. She's learned Adobe Premiere. Yep. What else have you You learned everything about Shopify. Yeah, I've learned Shopify. I've learned uh, postage, like shipping things and taxes and stuff like that. God, it's such a nightmare. Yeah, um, there's so much shit. I've learned a lot about Photoshop. You learn a lot about Patreon. A lot about Patreon. Yeah. My God. Yeah. You learn how to vectorize. I did. I'm... My brain is tired, you guys. Yeah. So if I'm sluggish on these streams, I just no, need you. That's to not acceptable. <laughs> it's acceptable in everything, but if this. she gets sluggish, send a super chat to make her sing. <laughs> That'll no, wait. I guarantee don't. you that wakes her ass up. Oh god. No, I don't need any more drawn. By the way, Peter and I both went and got our blood drawn this morning, and I'm still recovering. <laughs> oh my god. Gabby I don't know about you guys. Blood but for one vial. They no, took two. False. Well, yeah, they took 
Peter only had one vial drawn. That's not fair. I had two my, and a half. My blood is very direct to the point. Like, you get a drop, you know everything. With yeah. you, you have to really paint the picture. I was picture. so annoyed. <laughs> Although, <coughs> uh, Peter had to... <coughs> He had to chug like three glasses of water because the lady couldn't find his vein. Yeah, my veins were buried in a layer of gravy and fat. <laughs> she was like, do you, have you had, dr had any water in the past like 12 hours? He's like, no, you told me to fast. She's like, yeah, fast food. Not not fast food, but fast <laughs> from food, not fasting from hydration. I know, I was so thirsty. And um, anyway, I was fine because I'm not an idiot. So I got to, <laughs> they took, although I did have to ask for the tiny needle. <laughs> I had to ask for the little baby needle. The, yeah, the they literally uh, grab the they, butterfly one. They, she was like, "Oh, sorry, I have to go ask somebody for one of those." I'm like, "Ooh, yeah, a, sorry. a little baby." They open a steel case and they pull out a tiny mosquito, <laughs> and they, that's how they get. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it takes 45 minutes uh, to get your blood. I always have to admit what a baby I am about getting my blood drawn to the nurse so that they understand that like I'm gonna. I'm probably going to be a little bit of a head case, um, but I think I did pretty good. I don't know. What do you, you think? You did fine today. That I did, I did yeah. okay? Yeah. I was very brave. I only had yeah. to bring one stuffed animal with me Because we this surprised time. you this time because you thought I was going to go first and suddenly like you had That's to go That's true. And then you failed and I was like, God, yeah. now it's my turn. But yeah. anyway, it's over with. We're yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. What was I going to do? You were going to close the form? Close the form okay. and give somebody a free print. <laughs> And give somebody a free print. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Let's close this form. Oh, also, I I promise you, I'm not ignoring the chat. Happy Halloween season to all of you. Oh, uh, <laughs> everyone's been. Everyone knows that yes. July 5th is the start of Halloween season yes. for us. I love that. That I've seen that all across the internet this yeah. year. Yeah. I did not see it last year as hard. Uh, not as hard, but I did see it. Mm. But yeah, for us, it's a big deal. Like yeah, you know, if you know us summer. really well, you know that we go hard on Halloween. All our friends, uh, anybody I saw on my Instagram feed who was like, July Fourth is so cute. Come on, uh, like, Meanwhile, I'm like, please make it stop. I'm like, countdown. It's like New Year's. Five, ten, nine, eight. Shut it off. Shut Halloween. it off. Yeah, I was already, I mean, if you know me and you follow me on Instagram, you already know that like I have been in Halloween mode since like June because for me, June, like, and the reason why it starts June for me is because June is usually when I pick my Halloween costume. And I know that sounds a little crazy. However, if I haven't figured it out by June, I probably won't have enough time to do what I want to do. And so for me, it starts in June. I start getting into the vibe. I don't tell anybody else, but I, no, I tell everybody. Are you kidding me? I, I get I get into a mood. And uh, so I have been working on my Halloween costume. If you want to follow along with that, you can on my Instagram. I am posting about it all the time. I cannot shut up about it. And I also have a story highlight. So if you want to catch up on everything that I've done so far with the costume build, you can do so. It's got like a little rose. You'll see it. It says Vampire Night. Um, anyway, but yeah, I am I working on it. I thought it would be cool this year. Uh, when we, as soon as we get our Patreon, we have to get our Patreon up before Halloween. I know. But it would be awesome to do a Halloween contest. Oh, costume contest, I should say. On the on Patreon. Yeah, like behind How this, like like that? with our Patreon subscribers. Nothing. They just have to take a picture of their costume, post it, and then we'll fit like best one win something or something or other. I'm into that. Yeah, we could do that. I feel like we could do that. We'll see. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. All Hold right. on, I have to do a give away. Yeah, and let's make it smaller so that everybody can see. I'm setting this up as we go, guys. I'm just gonna I'm gonna make it look real ugly right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so the first winner of the baby talk girl is gonna be. Let's see. Here we go. Is it? Oh, it's Carl. Oh, shit. Carl, congratulations. Hey, our good friend Carl. Hey, congratulations, Congrats, Carl. Congrats, dude. Everybody congratulate him in the chat. He's the best. Carl's one of our... He's one of my favorite Instagram buddies. Yeah, and he's one of the uh, people who've been with us the longest. Oh, yeah. Huge supporter. So thank you so much, Carl. Happy you won that. We'll give away another... Baby Takaro print at the end yes. of the stream. And if you already uh, signed up for that, like if you already entered your name, you don't have to do it a second time. No, you're so already entered. It's only for the people. We'll only reopen it uh, for anybody who, for comes, anybody later. who comes late. Yeah, yeah. exactly. 
Uh, anyway. Let's get into the news. Let's get into the news. Should I run it again? Yes. Entertainment news. <laughs> Good. I'll take a sip of, of my drink before I get started. Yeah, hurry up. Go, go, go. All right. Let's get started. Um, so, our good friend, James Groman, has uh, announced a release with Mondo. Yep, brand for new. For his Godzilla, uh huh, his version of Godzilla. You want to talk a little bit more about it? Yes. I feel like you know more about this than I do. Yes, this is super freaking exciting because uh, James Groman, one of my favorite artists, you know, we talk about him all the time on the stream, friend of the show, has been on with us before. Um, God, I love him so much. And one of the things that I've... Uh, so excited about being able to do working at Mondo is get to work with him in a different capacity. So he's been working behind the scenes on this Godzilla figure for quite some time. And I've been dying. I mean, you want to talk about secrets that are hard to keep uh, a James Groman Godzilla in the works that looks like this with all the swappable head that has like the pieces of his skin missing. You can see his skull and his uh, neck tissue. It's got a swappable arms that has like all the skin moved, removed there too. There's like a piece of his tail that you can swap off. It's so amazing. It's so good. It's so James Groman and it's a Godzilla officially licensed Godzilla figure. If you know his figures in the past, Mondo's done the man thing. With James Groman, we have some other exciting stuff that we haven't announced yet. Um, he's working hard for uh, us right now, and I'm so excited about that. He's been doing amazing stuff. You know his King Corpse figure back in the day, his uh, Rotten Rex figure back in the day. I'm not that it's that long ago, but, you know, it's a good amount of years ago. Mm -hmm. Those are beautiful figures that have all these, like, rotting parts or, like, zombified parts or, like, flesh falling off. And uh, the uh, the fact that Toho let us do this, first of all, is crazy. And the fact that James was able to deliver such a beautiful piece and Mondo's releasing it is just fucking awesome. And by the way, it comes out tomorrow. Yeah. So tomorrow is Set the pre- your alarms. The, Yeah, this will go quickly, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, just because of the fact that it's Godzilla, it's James Groman, that alone is going to sell it. But the fact that you have sw two heads... I mean, you never see that. Trust me, take it from me, who guy who buys a lot of Godzilla stuff. You don't ever see Godzilla like this, and you don't get swappable parts. And, uh, you know, if you know what James Groman's figures sell for when he does his own independent releases, number one, you know you got to get a raffle ticket. You have to win a chance to pay a pretty penny. It's a whole it's a experience. Lot of, it's a, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of steps and a lot of money. Yep. And well-deserved because his stuff is beautiful and high demand. But because we're doing it through Mondo, it's a lot more uh, affordable and potentially maybe a little easier to get. Yep. I'm not sure. So you guys have to let us know. I can't wait for you guys to see this in person. I got to hold it um, at the licensing show for the first time. And it's Jeff's kiss. Jeff's kiss. Jeff's kiss. So yeah, just <laughs> if, that was a last minute news item that came across yeah. the airwaves that we had to cover here because we, we always support it. James Groman. Oh, yeah, He's our uncle. Him. He's Uncle Jimmy. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> James, we call him Tio Postizo, which is like a fake, fake uncle. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You always like in Spanish when you have like a you know a friend yeah, of the yeah, family yeah. who like you call your uncle, but he's not really your right, uncle. Right, you call right. him Tio Postizo, which is like a fake, yeah, yeah, fake yeah. Uncle. Unofficial uncle. It's a very yeah, it's a it's just sassy. But yeah, James Groman is our Tio Postizo. We yes. love him very much, and we we support him, and we want you to support him. So yeah. make sure that you set your alarms for that release tomorrow. Yes. It's going to be on the Mondo shop. Again, don't go to attackpeter.ing. No. It won't be there. <laughs> Not for this. <laughs> Not for this one. <laughs> but we'll be talking about it tomorrow for as sure. well in greater detail. And Hector as well. Uh, we'll be talking uh, at Collect All Monsters. Again, you really should subscribe to Collect All Monsters. It's a fun show. They are so knowledgeable. And it's so just about kaiju figures, movies. It's just a fun, fun hang. Yeah. So definitely check yeah. it out. Uh, okay, moving right along. Yeah. Uh, I finally saw Evil Dead Rise. Oh, yeah. Applause for me. Uh, <laughs> applause for me because I was being such a baby about it. Yeah, like, yeah. I really... So, I have always loved Evil Dead, uh, the originals. And in fact, that's one of the things that Peter and I bonded over when we first started dating was like our combined love for evil dead yeah um and i actually really liked evil dead 2014 which was the remake um 
I. But it was fucked up. Was very scared of that movie. <laughs> like, I, it's not. It's not that I had nightmares of it because I don't feel like that's the a type of movie or like the scenario doesn't give me nightmares. But it had me like seat gripping the entire time that I was watching it, and um, that's not what I expected. The gore, the gore is like effective. Oh, it's very effective, and you know, if you've seen Evil Dead, which I'm sure most of you in the chat have. Uh, it's it's very campy. Well, you're and you're referring specifically to Evil Dead Two mostly. Evil Dead Two and even Army of Darkness. Yeah, the first you know. one is more of a horror movie, but even yeah. then, it's but like, even <laughs> then, it still has a little bit of camp. But like, it's there's a there's some humor to it, and so it's got Bruce Campbell, and it makes everything okay. Exactly, and um, the issue was that the Evil Dead 2014 didn't have any camp, like at all. They just said we're doing a horror film. A film. Yeah. And they went it bold. in. It went it went in. And uh, I loved it, but it's not like a movie that I've ever wanted to rewatch um, because it's it's just pure horror. So when they announced Evil Dead Rise, I mean obviously I was excited for it because anything Evil Dead I'm getting excited over, but I, I got a little scared. You know, I was like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle this because the last one was crazy and I don't see how this one's gonna be any better, right? But also I think we were like stressed with everything that was going on true the, the true. all the mondo stuff all the health stuff we had going on bro it was a lot it was a it was a, it was a i didn't even celebrate my birthday this year my this was my 40th Neither birthday this did. year yeah and we didn't even celebrate it no. in any official way because it was just too, much, too much this year so yeah. like we didn't even see guardians because it was too potentially yeah. depressing we didn't see evil De well i saw evil Dead. you went to go yeah, see yeah, it yeah. i uh, just i i sent peter alone well not alone he went with a friend but I sent Peter alone without me because I needed him to screen it for me to make sure that I could handle it. Um, because in the trailer, it's pretty intense. Like the, they show some crazy scenes in the trailer that I'm like, I don't know if I can handle watching that. So he said that it was okay, but I still wasn't completely convinced. But then it came out recently on HBO Max, right? Yeah. Or, or just Max now. And so, um, and my sister's here. And so, you know, we figured why, why the hell not? Let's give it a shot. And so, I loved it. I think it definitely has the camp that was missing from uh, the 2014 remake. Uh, I love the the story. I love the take on it. The gore was incredible. The kills were incredible. I mean, I'm like such a fangirl of this remake. And the acting was, I mean, the actresses the that play the mom and the aunt were awesome. Oh I love both God. of them. The, the, the woman that they cast to play the mom, the main character mom, was so beautiful, like so stunningly beautiful that it was crazy to see her turned into a dead eye. Yeah, because she was also terrifying. But like a perfect face for mm -hmm. it. And it, it was crazy to see somebody so beautiful do so well being so hideous and so like messed up. Yeah. But anyway, so I the, the reason I bring all of this up is because uh, I saw this article come up on Fangoria. Uh, you know, we love Fangoria at yes. this house. Um, it's called Evil Dead Rise, Tales from the 14th Floor. And I'm not going to get into all of this, but if you're like, if you're into set design, I'm, I love set design. Like one of the things Peter and I love the most is yeah. seeing um, movie sets or TV yeah. show sets. Like we love I the- think I that every once in a while, I have a minimal amount of regret for my life choices. Of not being a set designer? Yes, dude. Oh. Wow. Like I, I know that there's a part of me that I sat, I scratched the itch by buying toys and setting them up in my room or when we have our Halloween party every year. But dude, I, I love setting up something to look like it's something else. Yeah. And, um, I really feel like that would have been my calling otherwise. And yeah. uh, you know, but how was I going to do that? In my I, yeah, it's tough here, but, uh, but yeah. So anyway, so this if you, article, if, if I'm oh, sorry to interrupt you, if wow. you work at a studio and want to invite us to, for a set visit of we anything, would love it. we would love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, in fact, one of my bucket list items is to do the Halloween Horror Nights, um, the tour, the, I think it's called the lights on tour Oh yeah. and they take you into like, you can choose, but I think it's anywhere between three or six of the haunted houses and they give you a tour of it with all the lights on. So you can see how the set design was created to, to take people through. Yeah. Um, and I'm dying to do this. So expensive, but I'm dying to do it. Yeah. So if anybody so wants cool. to give us a press pass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if anybody wants to get press passes. Yeah, stuff, seriously. I'm always surprised. There's all these people, dude, someone came up to me and I apologize. I can't remember your name. So if you're, in the chat please let me know or if not just message me someone came up to me at the licensing show in las vegas uh -huh. on be they were there on behalf of disney working like 
you know, the licensing show, like, like you know, doing the rounds as a business person uh -huh. and came up to me and goes, hey, Peter, holy shit, you know, didn't expect to see you here. Big fan of your stuff. I watch all your streams. I'm like, oh, dude, awesome. Like, who are you? He's like, oh, I'm so-and-so. I can't remember the fucking name. Dude. I feel like Aww. an asshole. But I watch all the streams. I'm, all, I'm like, oh, my God, dude, it was so crazy. And the guys like a high up at Disney gave me some cool secret info Ooh. about a secret cool property that I love very much. And... Um, do I know about this? Did you tell me and I forgot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not it's not like the craziest news, but it's cool that like yeah. I knew before. It's already public. Oh, okay. but I still don't want to say what it is because I don't want to identify the guy in any okay, way. Okay, okay, okay. But um Yeah, don't throw him under the yeah, bus. Yeah, yeah. But the point is, um, like I know there's people who watch our stuff and collect our work who have amazing, interesting lives in you know uh, so if 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 one of you Please as a, knows how to get us. Please. I, all, all that's to say is give us what we want. Yeah, I just, I really <laughs> want to just go. Pass. I want to go and I want to film it and I want to yeah. experience it. I'm and working on that. I have another angle I'm working for that. I don't know if we'll nail it this yeah, year, we'll but you never know. Yeah, yeah. but it's in the works. It, yeah, it'll happen. Yeah, the the sure. Matrix. Yeah, exactly. The Matrix. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, so going back to this article, in case you want to like, deep dive into the way that they because the whole entire movie just so you know takes place inside of an apartment uh an, a, an apartment building yes, and specifically apartment. like one floor one room like this very rarely do you go into any of the other uh how or, or apartments on that floor um and so they they kind of go over in this article how they did that like how did they create um, the sets for these for these specific look at this shit, dude. It's so cool, That's man. That's awesome. It they literally just went into a massive like one of those airplane hangars, like those massive warehouses, mm -hmm. and they literally built out the hallways, the rooms, everything. Um, it's just so cool. I love reading about this stuff. I love seeing um, how they figure out how to do this. And man, they made it look great because like the whole idea is that it's set in a an apartment complex that is going to be condemned. Mm. So there's barely right. anybody left in the apartment building. It's just a few people, like a few tenants that haven't left yet, including the, the main family and a few other families. And it, it just looks really dilapidated and just gross. And I love it. I love yeah. it. And, and aged too, like all of the, uh, all of the, uh, apartment, uh, I guess the apartments themselves, they look old, they look dated, they look aged. Yeah, they and look I love in. that. Like they yeah. didn't just go for like a modern apartment. They said, no. no, this thing, it looks like it got stuck in the 70s. Yeah. And man, it's so beautiful. That bathroom is amazing. Yeah, if you haven't watched the movie, it's so good. If yeah. you're a horror fan, especially like, I feel like all the hype that I normally have for like Marvel uh, movies or superhero movies in general has kind of been mm -hmm. taken over lately by horror stuff. Yeah. You know, of course, I love the classic monsters, and I always will. But even, you know, just like Evil Dead Rise, I loved Megan. Uh, we loved the Boogeyman. Uh, you know, we've been loving, you know, the new Halloween movies. Like, we're just eating good. We are. We really horror are. Fans. Horror has been, I'm going to scroll all the way back up so you guys yeah. can see the title of this article in case you want to pull it and up. And shout out whoever wrote the article. Uh, that's Nick Bassett. Shout out Nick Bassett. Nick yeah, Bassett, go read the article you. on Fangoria. By the way, Dingy Dave in the chat says scenic work was what I did full time before 2020. Wow. No way. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. What did you work? Do you work on anything like famous? Um, let's see. Franklin Biza says I built a couple haunted houses in high school. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome, though. I wish I would have done theater. You know, like I, I didn't do theater in high school because I was a, not a fan of theater kids. Like people who took theater classes uh -oh. to me didn't Careful. like, I know, I don't want to offend anybody. It's just how I felt when I was a kid. The, the theater kids in your now I love, school. Yeah, but now I favorite. love theater kids and yeah. I have a lot of friends who were in theater, but at the time in my school specifically, I just didn't like it. And also our teacher was creepy. But anyway, I didn't realize that I could have just taken the like set design. I yeah. didn't have to take drama yeah. and I didn't have to deal with all that. I could have just been making cool scenery. Yeah, when cool. I was teaching uh, high school down here, we had an awesome theater program at one of the high schools and they had an amazing set design uh, class and department. And yeah, there were none of the kids were necessarily acting at all. They were just making cool stuff. Yeah. But anyway, so Fucked up. yeah, if you want to check it out, it's an awesome um, article. Awesome. Awesome article. Yeah. 
Check oh, out the movie. Katie, <laughs> Raph says Katie just gasped and said, wow, okay, she was a theater major. No, I'm just saying in my school. I don't know <laughs> if that applies everywhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I'm sorry. See? Oh, I didn't control. mean it. I just, it, and I was a kid. I was like 16 years old. I know, out of control, offending everybody. Okay, moving <laughs> along, I feel like uh, while, while we're in the movie scene, we should talk about the most recent Indiana Jones. Oh, gosh. Uh, which I don't really want to talk about right now because it was apparently a box office flop um it only i think it, it only full, made 60 full. million in its uh holiday Opening. release yeah, yeah. Oh, full disclosure gabby and i have not seen this no, movie we have not we sorry. never leave the house anymore yeah yeah well uh, yeah uh, and and i was reading an article about like there, there was somebody who put together a an opinion article on what they think contributed to its failure this movie because they're already calling it a failure yeah oh. uh because the Crystal Skull did really well. Mm. Like, I know that people don't like that film, and for the most part, it's sort of, it's like the least favorite of all of the Indiana I gotta Jones rewatch films. it, because I remember thinking, eh, that was okay. Yeah, I know, and and, and maybe if I re-watch it now, I won't, like, be as hard on it as yeah. I was. I didn't like it when I first saw it, but... You didn't like it at all? No. Mm. Um, but were you like an Indiana Jones fan? Yeah, hmm. I was super into it. It's and certainly I just, not the best one. No, and and so well. Anyway, the article was like, you know, part of the reason why uh, they think it failed is because it's geared towards an older audience, and mm. the older audiences don't want to leave their home oh, anymore. Shit, that's pretty good. <laughs> and I was like, oh, who's not old? not us. Yeah, who's the, staying at home? <laughs> who's the older audience they're referring to? Well, like like our generation, oh, okay. like you know, older millennials, uh, people yeah. who grew up you know, watching those films because their parents loved them. Um, you know, cause I was too young to see them when they came out. Like I watched them after the fact that because my, my dad loved the Indiana Jones films, So yeah. I was watching them. So my generation now is one, you know, uh, older millennials tend to stay home. Like we're, if we have the option, we're staying home. Um, and well, anyway, that was the, that was the idea is that it, part of the reason why it flopped is because it's targeting an older generation. Like, Gen Z kids are not going to see a trailer for 80 year old yeah. uh, Harrison Ford uh, as Indiana Jones and be like, I got to see that for real, for real. Mm. Like they're not going to, you know what <laughs> I mean? That movie looks bussing. Yeah. That movie th does not look bussing. It has an old man. <laughs> and so uh, we all see it and we're like, fuck yeah, Harrison Ford, yeah. Star Wars, Indiana Jones, let's go. But even we are like, but I'll wait for it on demand. Yeah. So, you know, that's part, part, some of the reasons why they say it didn't do as well. So instead of like kind of focusing on the negative, yeah. I thought that it would be fun to go over this article, which is the 10 coolest moments from the franchise. Oh, I like that. You're, yeah. you're a positive person. Well, I'm trying to keep it positive. Well, now okay, that you wait, just roasted before, an entire group of theater people. I, I know. I'm trying sorry. to make up for it. I'm not roasting. God. As a species. Anyway, <laughs> I, I want to, because the chat's like going off. So, so I just, okay, see, some people like the Crystal Skull, I, I, but some I people don't. It. I remember saying, I remember thinking that there were things about it that I didn't like, but I, for one, anytime there's aliens involved, I'm like, I'm very forgiving. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I do want to see it. I don't know. I honestly don't know if I'm going to go to the theater to see no, it. I, to I, see I, it. I barely go to the theaters anymore. Yeah. Um, I we've mentioned to, it before how we haven't even it. seen Guardians. Yeah. Like we, I can't believe who we've become. I can. I was always this person. I went to the movies more often because of you, to be oh, honest. Really? But before we started dating, I was not a movie theater person. Mm. Yeah, I just like watching stuff from home. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, it's getting um, easier and easier. And, and uh, by the way, somebody said in the chat, uh, and this was in the article too, uh, if it had been directed by Steven Spielberg, do you think it would have done better? Mm. And I don't know the answer to that question. I don't, I, know, I, I don't even think that name matters as much anymore to people. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how many people were like, oh, it's not Steven Spielberg. Well, then what's the point? Like, I don't know. Yeah, because James Mangold directed it and he's the guy who did fucking Logan. Which I think carries way more yeah. weight now than some Spielberg movies due to like yeah. younger audiences. But I, I don't, I really don't know uh, if that would have saved it. I also just the reviews were not tremendous either. Well, what you know, one of the other things they said is that um, they premiered it at the Cannes yeah, Film, Cannes Festival. Film Festival. Is it Con? Yeah, it's French. Sorry. And there's no S at the end. I mean, Con. there is one, but you don't pronounce it Con. Con Film Festival. Um, and the reviews there were really Maybe abysmal. Maybe you shouldn't skip like theater class. Missed. I know. Well, I didn't skip it. I just didn't take I, it because I had an option to take cooler shit. Sorry. <laughs> oh 
Sorry. Don't come for me, bro. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so, okay. Roast. Yeah, whatever. 10 coolest moments from Indiana Jones yeah, thus far. Uh, starting at number 10 would be the boulder chase. Wow. Uh, I, I would say 10? this is definitely, uh, yeah, of like cool, the coolest thing. But I'm saying, like, is it like ranked 10 to 1? Like the 1 is going to be the best moment? Uh, I don't know. I don't think or they, it's not in any particular order? Uh, it just says it's starting at the beginning. Okay. I'm going to do it from 10 to 1. That is the first moment. Yeah, I like the boulder chase. I, I love it. And, and it's really cool if you haven't seen it at, um, they do a live action Indiana Jones in uh, Hollywood Studios. Not anymore. Well, not anymore. Yeah. They used to. And they did a bolt like a live boulder yeah. chase scene. It was so cool. Remember when we were in Japan and we went to the Disney uh, yes. in Japan? They had an awesome Indiana Jones ride. They do like, at Disney Sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really awesome. But yeah. you know, I don't know. Like I, <laughs> some people are in the chat are so upset with. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Mr. Lanfear says we can't be friends anymore, Kathy. I'm sorry. What did you do? What did you I, say? Cause, I guess because I'm shitting on theater kids, but uh, I I'm only shitting on the ones that I went to high school with. I'm not shitting on anybody else. Yeah, exactly. I've met some really nice ones. Uh, anyway, we have a lot of friends that are theater kids. You're gonna have yeah, to answer too soon. I know. God, I Jeez. shouldn't have said anything. Anyway, yeah, but, but the Boulder Chase is cool. It's just like, it's iconic. It's uh, it's thrilling. But there's so many other cool scenes. Um, well, it's one of ten. It's one of ten. Let's see what. 10. Let's see if they leave it. The other one is oh, Gun yes. versus Sword, which 100%. everybody loves. This, this, this is the most favorite. badass. Like Indiana Jones yeah. just took out his, you know what, and slapped it on the table, and it was like, come, Whip. come play, come play. Yeah. Um, this was the, one of the hottest moments. <laughs> easily. That's that's one of my. I was gonna say if that's not on it. I don't know what this yeah. list is. Which if you don't know what that is, please go. Please go and watch these films. Yeah. I don't want to have to explain it's these such things. A good, that's Raiders. That's, such a, that's one of the best. But <laughs> that to me is probably the best moment, but let's see what else they have. Yeah, let's see. Uh, moving along. Oh, yeah. I don't know why this isn't number one. Oh, this is my moment. favorite is the face melt. But because uh, the, the face melting special effects are so cool and like the way that they filmed this, yeah. I guess it's like if you're into the technical aspect of it is what makes it so cool. It's also just horrifying. I remember being a kid I mean, going, it's holy horrifying. shit. It is awful. When I was a kid, I was like, this movie just got fucking real right now. It got end. so real at the very end. Yeah. No, at the very end. But yeah, I I, I really like it. I yeah. think this was probably, this would be my number one. Interesting. This would be my number one. Uh, moving along, the Temple of Doom intro. The I don't know how so this is good. I dude. know, but I don't know how this is better than the what? face melt. I think it's I don't, cool. Well, you didn't determine that they're ranking these. Uh, yeah, that's true. So it might just be ten great moments. Okay, ten great moments. Well, this one would not trump. Face melt is still the top one for me. Okay. This doesn't. Trump I that. love this scene, but again, it is great. I'm not gonna have to put it over face melt. It's just, it's just, dude, it's crazy. It's great. It's such chaos. Yeah. It's such chaos. It's yeah. so good. And it just like the the dance number and everybody looks badass and mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, it's a great. Moment. I love that dance number. Do you think they could do that today? Mm, I don't know, man. I can't do. <laughs> we probably couldn't do the intro <laughs> at all. No, at all. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, the next one is the mine car chase. I do love this one. It's awesome. Um, I think it's so iconic and in, it's been in so many video games and every time that I, it shows up in a video game, yeah. I'm like, yeah. You know what's funny is every, like I watched as a kid Temple of Doom more than Raiders of the Lost Ark just because we had it on VHS. Yeah. And uh, oh shit, you're getting requested to go to sensitivity training. <laughs> I know. I saw. I refuse. Oh, uh, insensitive as <laughs> fuck, dude. Yeah, guys, I'm going to report her to yeah, my Yeah, the HR self. department is Tony. Is and he, exactly? he does not care. He no. is do he's worse than me. Juan Town's like, I don't give a shit. I don't give crap. He's asleep. Crap and about it. <laughs> he hates see. theater kids, too. No. Yeah, it's true. He told me. He only hates the ones that you went to school with you. That's true. He's more specific than you were. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do love the mind car chase. It's, it's, it's just... It's so much fun. And yeah. it's such a nightmare. Like, I can't imagine. Every time I see those things, I'm like, oh, yeah, another mine car chase. But I imagine myself in a mine careening down some old rail system being shot at. Uh, terrifying. <laughs> terrifying, no thank you. The rope bridge, amazing. Oh, man. So amazing. Good. So, so, so good, dude. Yeah. Also, another thing that you see repeated in so many movies. You know what it is, too? Like, these movies came out at a time where this was like some of the most badass shit on it's film. It's true. It's true. And so now it's like if you did any of these things in a movie, would they be as cool today? Well, they do get redone a lot. They get redone. But like, for example, Uncharted came out. Yeah. 
No, I, it seems like nobody really the was The movie very, or the video game? The movie. Yeah. No, it seems like nobody was very, like, worked up over that movie. No, so no. it's like, I wonder if it's just a time and a place for things like this. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else they've got here. Oh, young Indiana Jones. I love this. I love a good flashback oh, scene. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think River that, Phoenix. Yeah, I think that, well, yeah, River Phoenix, holy God. But I just feel like, man way to give context to this character in such a short amount of time yeah i loved it i love the chase scene i love everything about it this was so fantastic yeah uh the tank battle oh yeah amazing <laughs> amazing one of my favorite parts about indiana jones i think is all of the um like the fighting nazis stuff yeah yeah, yeah. The best, and so the best all of that guys. yeah all of that just it brings me such joy uh indiana let it go when he when oh yeah yeah when he has to yeah, yeah that's a good one I don't know that it's I mean it is a great it's one. just like a great like um it's a great moment yeah. to like illustrate you know how important this whole thing is to Indiana Jones and like finding these treasures and yeah. all this you know I just it's awesome I think it's great yeah the trunk reveal yes. The trunk reveal is so good. Again, so iconic. Yeah. Right? Like so many, I think, didn't Family Guy even do it? Yeah. Or The Simpsons did it? I think everyone's yeah, done yeah. a trunk reveal at some point. I don't know. Greg Lunzer. I hear Reaver Phoenix was a theater kid. I'm oh, sure he fucking was. And I'm sure he was way cooler than any of the theater kids I went to school with. <laughs> anyway. I love that you're never going to live that I down. know. Now we have to make it into a shirt. Okay, moving oh, on from fun action movies. In the chat, what's your favorite Indiana Jones moment? I, that's that's all of them. It's still yeah, that's ten. No kidding. What Do, we okay. what was missing for me the 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 Temple of Doom scene where the guys the, the sacrifice they go Onam Shubai Onam Shubai Onam Shubai, onam shubai. yes and then, I'm and surprised they that that didn't make it in there out of the chest yeah. and then they set him on ah. fire okay that's my number one but, uh, wow that's your number one yeah it's the most crazy scene when I was a kid watching that would fuck me up dude. you know what else was um, one of my favorite scenes is when they um. The monkey brain suit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's well, that's, so good. That whole scene, I, re I remember seeing an article like, this is canceled because that's not what they eat. No, I know. I know. In Bangkok. But it I'm was like, just oh. so good. It was so good. No, like, it, was, it, was, it was creepy. To, and her and she, her just like passing. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Oh, God. The shock. She was so horrified that entire film. I know, it was she, really she, pleasurable to watch her be so horrified. I know. She was like a great, like... Um, she was like representing the audience. Was like, she oh really God. did. She was like, I did not sign up for this. I cannot believe yeah. I'm here. Um, yeah, the heart pool. The, see, everybody, the heart, the heart pool. pool. Dude. That really, as a kid, I got to tell you, that kind of messed me up. Like, yeah. Because he was r chained up in front of an audience and he watches his own heart leave his I know. chest. And he doesn't die. Right. And it's it, like, like the magic keeps him alive. So he had like... Man, if you're going to pull my heart right out of my chest, I want to die. Yeah. Like, let me die because I don't know what the hell no, you're going to do with this. But then feel bye. being burned alive. I know. It's Holy like it doesn't. Shit, it was so dude. impressive. Yeah. Oh, my God. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Staying with impactful movies. Go ahead. Guess what? What? There's another Insidious movie coming out. Oh, it's coming out this, know this? this week, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm All ready. Right, God, Sorry. I hope it's good, dude. Yeah. Insidious, the red door is coming out this week. Friday and I am pumped. I love Insidious. I think we'll go to the theater for this. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, yeah. potentially. Um, Insidious, funny enough, is the first um, Halloween Horror Nights haunted house that I ever went into. Oh, okay. It was the Insidious house and That's it was cool. absolutely terrifying. Yeah. yeah, like the minute they, first of all, they, speaking of set design, mm -hmm. the haunted ma ha house uh, set design is insane. Uh, how they can turn these like kind of backlot areas into oh, these yeah. movie sets. Um, and when I walked into the Insidious, like the first, first of all, you're walking up into a house. It looks like the house. Right. And when you walk in, it looks like the living room. It is so crazy and so surreal. And naturally, the first thing that pops out at you as soon as you walk into that living room is the damn demon. Yeah. Oh, I forget about it. Dead. Dead <laughs> as soon as I walked in. Um, oh my god! <laughs> Spencer Hodgkins says the trailer for this is terrible. I hope the movie oh is no. better. The trailer is not fantastic. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen um, it. But yeah, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Epi's like, oh yeah, were your eyes open or closed when you walked through it? They were closed. <laughs> they were closed. Thank you. Yes, I walk through almost every haunted house with my eyes closed. I just like kind of peeked. 
uh, just just a little bit, but I am terrified. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't have high expectations for this film in terms of its quality just because it's kind of like gone under the radar. Yeah, I'm going to I'll play the trailer really quick. Oh, so you can uh, see. oh no, get, sorry. No, it's you not can't. A, what? We'll get like there won't be any, uh, there won't be any sound. Oh, it'll okay. be it'll be dead quiet. I can I can just tell you what it is. Mm. Um, basically, the. What? What happened? Rich paid twenty dollars again for me to sing the sound of music. Oh, Gary's shit. Ga Gary says what am I Gary? Gabby's penance for discriminating against theater. I kids. think that's fair. God damn it! Do you know it. it? I know you know it. The uh, the the sound of music. The hills are alive. Yeah, just sing that that, that one bar. Oh. Like really belt it. No, I'm not really belting anything. To. No, I the can't. Hills are you belt it. I'm not. You're I already singing it. But I didn't offend. <laughs> I this is how you, this is God. if you do this, but <laughs> if she does this, everybody has to let let her like start from scratch with her theater uh, opinions. Right, do I ready? have to sing it though? Because yes. you didn't call me by my name. You said Gary. I know, but he'll so he somebody meant. named Gary in here. Listen, you started it. You, <laughs> <laughs> you started it, Baba Booey. Oh, uh, you don't get to call me Baba Booey. Because you're Gary. Now. Oh, I'm Gary now. Go I'm ahead, go ahead. Si Rap says, "Sing it and spin." Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> No, you'll pull your headphones out. I'll pull my headphones out and I will right. definitely Shh. break an ankle. You have to do it. Just that <sighs> one part. Just from the hills are alive to the sound of music. That's just, all I have to say? That's it, but sing it. No, I'm not going to sing it. If I'm you just don't say it, then you have it. to do more like to really convince people. No, because people. I don't know the rest. I don't know how it goes. All right, ready? One. Wait, what is the part after the hills are alive? I don't know. Personally, I don't know. Oh, I'm not a theater kid. <laughs> that's true. I'm not a theater kid. I don't just, know what happens. But that's fine. I'll let you off the hook with that. Okay. But, but sing it. Oh, sing it like you okay. care. I don't care. Well, sing it like you care. <laughs> Late Effie says, channel your inner nun. Just go me, 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 me. Like it's a the tone. nun. Because uh, if mm, I channel my inner mm, the nun. Mm, mm, me, 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 me. That's the note you want to hit. It's right there. <laughs> I hate the, Peter as a vocal coach is easily the worst the thing that's ever happened. Hit, Rich is like, you have to do it loud. The, hit, the, <laughs> me, 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 me. Right oh, here. This okay. is the note all you right, start on. All right. All right. Okay. Here we yeah, go. Right? Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Hold on. Uh, what? What? Raph says the hills are alive with the sound of music with songs they have sung for a thousand years. I never would have thought that was the lyric. Well, try it. Okay, hold on. Okay, all right. Three. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. God, I hate this so much. I'm already sweating. Come on. Okay, <laughs> count me down. Three, mm -hmm. two. Where's one? I was, that's just I tell you, in, the, in, the, in the business. You don't say one. <laughs> all right, all three. Right. Two, okay, okay. Do it. Do it again. Do it three, again. Three, two. The hills are alive <laughs> with the sound of music. <laughs> I totally. Oh, uh, you can do it a higher <laughs> a register. I can. I can. I can. The hills are alive. There, there's your bonus, Rich. With the sound <laughs> of music. There you go. <laughs> What's the next lyric? Uh, <laughs> with songs they have sung for a thousand years. There you go. Look at you. Come on, B. It's not the that hills hard. fill my heart with the sound of music. The hills are alive, bro. The hills are alive. Anyway, right. you're welcome, Rich. I Thank guess, you, Rich. I guess I've done my penance. I don't know. That was kind of like a half penance. Uh, now you get to watch Insidious. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like how you're like, what? I thought the fucking stream had collapsed. No. I mean, better if it would have collapsed. <laughs> God. Yeah, when I see Rich in, in person, I'm going to... Is he like our number one song supporter? Yes. Oh, you're the best, dude. What? He keeps the music alive. <laughs> the chat says never do that again. <laughs> to who? To you? <laughs> to you. Oh. Um, so anyway, uh, the Insidious movie. So they're giving everybody like kind of a, like a recap of all the, the films up until now. Oh, because like a it montage? has been like, yeah, it has been a little bit of time since. since We've been insidiousing. Yeah. But basically like, so the guy that you see there um, next to what's his face is Patrick Wilson. Yeah, Patrick Wilson is supposed to be the kid but grown up because oh. in the in this new the red door, he is like college age. No kidding. So yeah, because remember in the first one's like that's what they're going over right now. In the first one, he's a little kid and he goes yeah. into a coma and he gets trapped in this place called the further and this is like a demon dimension. And, and, is and Rose then, Byrne in the movie? Yes. Yeah. And then his dad, Patrick Wilson's character, like can also astral project and so he goes to like save his kid. Right. But then on the second film, they kind of like get trapped in the further. And it's like this whole 
nightmare of you know being trapped there and now in the third one they're back at it like by the way this you know. is not the third one no not technically the third i right. mean it's the right. third with patrick wilson exactly. potentially because they had a couple in there right they had like the key the lost key mm -hmm. or something like that yeah they had a few like and, and there's one of those two. that i actually liked and i don't remember which one it was that's like i liked the first two for sure yeah. and i don't remember which other sequel i liked well anyway i'm looking forward to it. i hope Remember we're the not the only he's like, ones. He's got your baby. He's got your baby. He's got your baby. I know it's awful, uh, but I'm I'm <laughs> I'm down. I'm ready. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Whoever wants to come with me, come with me. We're watching Insidious this Friday, I think. Wait, no, Friday I have Friday oh, I have a birthday I party, so alone. I guess I'm not going on. Oh, Friday. I guess I'm going by myself. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I guess you're going by yourself. Um, me and all of Miami High School's theater department yeah, on there Gabby. There you go. Uh, speaking of horror movies, The Blackening is coming to oh, that, uh, that. premiere video on demand, which we missed it. We didn't get to see oh, it. Oh, you're kidding. It already came and went? Yeah, it Please. came out uh, Juneteenth. It was and so good. The trailer looked good. The trailer say. looked hilarious. Yeah. And and that's it. We started watching and we we're like, what is this? Yeah. Is this like a is this supposed to be like a It looked it looked silly. It looked like a Well, like a scary it looked movie. like those spoof, yeah, yeah, like the spoof scary movie stuff. Yeah. And we're like, oh, this is gonna be not great. But then but the we started to realize good. what it was. Yeah, and we're like, oh my god, we need to see this. Yeah. It's apparently based on a skit. So it's oh, really? yeah, it was a skit that was written by Dwayne Perkins um, from Comedy Central. And it's a group of friends who celebrate Juneteenth at a cabin in the woods. And oh. then a mass killer uh, kind of forces them into this game of like, who's going to die first, <laughs> you know, like or who's going to make it. Yeah. Um, and so anyway, it's going to be available July 7th. So this Friday on um, video on demand, uh, which I am I dying to, to watch yeah. this, yeah. dying to watch this. Uh, it looked so funny, and I'm so sad that we didn't go to see it in theaters, dude, but we're I, definitely going to see it. I can't it. believe that it just can't. Dude, movie theaters are so fucking weird right now, man. It's like yes. everything comes out so fast. It's like, why should I? Like, if you miss it the first week. Right. Like, you know what I mean? It's almost like it's almost like it's not even like it doesn't even have a chance to get word of mouth. Right. Like if somebody told me, dude. June nineteenth was like two days ago. I know, but it was we were just so busy. But I'm saying, if someone would have gone and seen it and said, "This is fucking great," let me tell Peter and Gabby. I don't remember anybody saying anything. No, like but that. what I'm saying is hypothetically speaking, like we wouldn't have even had time to go. No, no, we wouldn't have. That, that's why I like video on demand because yeah. it's like, okay, I can just watch it whenever I have a free moment. Did anybody chat? Did anybody go see this one? If let you have, know. please let us know and let us know your opinion of it because I'm dying to watch this. Um, so yeah, look out for that. Speaking of more horror films, cause that's all I pull up anymore. Actually, I will tell you why there's so many horror film articles because it's the summer and the summer is usually when all of the horror films get dropped. Oh. Um, it's always right now, like pre Halloween season. <laughs> yeah. So that when October hits, uh, you have costume sales yeah. and you got oh, merch true. sales and like, yeah, that. yeah. But you know what else too? Like, and I was just going to say this, I feel like it's in the horror genre where a lot of like interesting things are happening like more risks and more you know i don't know it just it's feels kind of always been like that i though. know but it feels especially dynamic now in a world where even like by the way another movie we didn't see in the theaters that i heard was really good is the flash and oh, i yeah. will certainly see it when it comes out on max or whatever although like we said it was a flop well yeah but i'm saying it was well reviewed yes but Part of why I wasn't like in a big rush to go see it because I felt like, well, I, I think I know what this is going to be and I'm sure it'll be fun, but I don't know if I'm going to like interrupt my schedule of events to go and see it. You know, yeah. I wanted to. I I, I, I told Gabby, oh, let's go see The Flash. Let's go see The Flash. We never got to see it, you know, and yeah. uh, but with horror movies, for some reason, I'm like, let's go. Like, it feels like a fun experience at the more theater fun. still. Yeah. It feels yeah. more fun. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so moving along, more horror movie yeah. stuff. Uh, this um, this is about video games becoming films, because there's a lot of horror video games that have become films lately, specifically or or TV shows. So like The Last of Us, which was it's critically acclaimed at this point. Mm -hmm. um, 
you've got the Super Mario Brothers movie, which is not horror, but you have it basically breaking box office records. Yeah. Um, and so I think people are starting to get this idea that like video games are a good place to source material Jesus, for, it only for took them movies. Long enough. I know. Well, it's not that it hasn't been done before because like Doom, for example. Well, I mean, the first Mario I mean, Bros. That it's was never It's never been treated with the respect. It was never treated with respect. That is yeah. true. And I don't think anybody saw it as like, we just use the IP. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we don't need to necessarily make it a joke. This isn't necessarily for kids. This can be it for adults. It can be taken more seriously. So with the success of like The Last of Us and the Super Mario Mothers, Brothers movie, which by the way, Super we have, Mario Mothers is a good idea we, for a, a, Yeah, a, we haven't seen that one yet. I know, that's another one we didn't yeah. get a chance to do. Um, they're now starting to talk about bringing more of these video game IPs to the big screen. Yeah, no um, shit. Right now, we're waiting for Fri Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, yeah. Which looks like it's going to be I, awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I've never cared too much about the game. Like I, when, I, when that game came out, I was teaching uh, middle school, and the kids used to lose their shit oh, over yeah. that game. Dude. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'm, I am excited to see a, a movie of it because I feel like aesthetically it's fun. Although it reminds me of that Nick Cage movie we watched. Um, oh, the, it, oh, my God. Bro. I don't remember. It's basically Nick Cage versus Chuck E. Cheese. It's Five Nights at Freddy's with Nick Cage. Yeah, and, it, that's and basically he doesn't it utter one word the whole yeah. movie. It's funny. It's great. It's really I good. I had a lot of fun yeah. watching it. Oh, Silent Hill is another one. Yeah. I like I like that movie. There's I a there's a scene in that movie that is lives permanently in my brain. I cannot erase, which is the scene where they. Um, they roast the cop alive. Hmm. Like they put her basically on a giant spit and her like flesh just sears off of her body. Gross. I will never forget that scene for as long as I it's live. It's funny, I saw that movie in the theaters and I have zero memory of it. Oh, you should watch it again. Yeah. It's very unsettling. That whole IP like missed with me. Like I, I Which didn't- Which is crazy. I know. It was so popular. I didn't think the games were fun in my opinion. Like everybody else did. I didn't enjoy them. I love Resident Evil, but I didn't get into Silent Hill. I, and yeah. uh, and the movie I saw in theaters, and I was like, I love the designs, like I love the pyramid head and all that stuff. But I didn't like, I didn't find it too scary. I liked that one that came out on the PlayStation, the demo PT. Oh yeah, playable trailer. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, oh, Willy's Wonderland is the That's name of that that Nick Cage movie. It was so good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love Silent Hill. I'm glad that they're kind of it's it's being uh, brought back to life a little bit more now um, I, I do too. with I like the that. remake. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to actually playing that, but I love Silent Hill. That was like yeah. one of my favorites, but um, you know, that's another successful, f I mean, I don't know how successful it was, but I felt like they did it justice. Um, so we have a lot of things coming out. The article says that, um, and specifically we have uh, the, the, Blumhouse is getting involved Those in are this, my heroes and right so now. is James Wan, who's done The Conjuring yeah. and, and a bunch of other scary movies. Yeah. So if they're at the helm, I oh, feel like yeah, it's going to be, be yeah. yeah, it's going to be good. I just hope that they do something original and don't just like try to do the movie. Yeah. So, well, it says uh, a J um, Jason Blum, who's the leader yeah. of Blumhouse, um, he was talking about this whole thing um, with with a, a, a production called Discussing Film. Um, and he basically said, uh, well, I think the right video games make great source material for movies. I mean, you saw that even with the Super Mario Brothers movie, it's a different genre, but it was an amazingly successful movie. Yeah. And I certainly hope that's the case with Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, James Wan is actually a really big gamer and we have a games division of our company that we've been working on. I'm definitely looking forward to finding more games that are popular and that we could turn into horror movies. Well, that's Dude, awesome. if Blumhouse is in charge, you can do no wrong. I, I'm confident in them doing a good thing. You know, yeah. some cool stuff. For and sure. there's a lot of stuff on the way. There's more stuff than I even thought. Like in the article, they said um, multiple game to film adaptations are on the way from Hollywood and the streaming giants, including the already filmed Borderlands and oh God, Gran Turismo I? movies, which well, we saw the hilarious. trailer. I know that one's that one's really funny. I didn't know Borderlands had been filmed. Me neither. And that I love Borderlands. Yeah. Um, we've also got a third Sonic the Hedgehog movie coming. Well, that, yeah. and a you know, Minecraft have, movie. That's hilarious. I know. Um, a Detective Pikachu sequel. A Mortal Kombat sequel. Yes. 
and film adaptations of properties such as Bioshock, which will be awesome, mm-hmm. Ghost of Tsushima, of course, cool, yeah. Death Stranding, which I think should have been a movie from the get. I know. It feels I don't like... feel like that should have ever been a, a damn game. Yeah. Oh my God, FedEx the game. Days Gone, uh, which I never played, but, but that's that like a also, zombie one. Yeah, but that's also what I'd rather watch a movie of that. Correct. Just Cause, which I also never played. That was a. That was like. Um, did you play that one? I played a little bit. I was working at GameStop when it was coming oh, out. It was yeah, cool. It was like you lead ago. like some rebellion in Latin America. And yeah. You're like a, you know, heroic version of Che Guevara or something. Uh, the other ones are It Takes Two, which me and Epi are playing through right now, and it's so beautiful. Uh, Yakuza, Streets of Rage, and Sifu, um, which are all amazing properties. So, yeah, looking That's forward cool. to that. I've, I'm always a big fan of whatever they want to do with oh arcane arcane was a legion league of oh, legends I that's that a was, that's a show though yeah but i've never played that game and i love that show oh you know what looks like trash twisted metal oh yeah that's pretty that good. does not look like it's gonna that be hurts good. my heart to say because it's one of my favorite games yeah halo was also not that great it had moments but it no. had moments but most of all no. it was kind of not, not great, great. Yeah. um also coming is a live action and animate tomb raider series i'm oh, okay i'm cool. into seeing what yeah. they have to do with it because the last tomb raider with uh, Angelina Jolie. No, that was not the last one. There was a movie that you and I did not see that, that was actually supposedly pretty good. Really? Yes. And huh. I forget uh, the actress's name in it, but it was a, a fairly recent one. It was more based on the recent games, which everybody also loved. Oh, okay. I did like yeah. the more recent games, but yeah. but I didn't know that there was... Anyway, well, we'll have to check it out. A Knuckles series and major TV series based on properties like Fallout, which makes sense because that would make yeah. a great TV show. Mass Effect, fuck yeah. God of War, of course. Horizon Zero Dawn, of course. Gears of War, Alan Wake, and Assassin's Creed. Those, like, it's almost obvious that you would choose these properties yeah. to make uh, TV or film adaptations of because they're all award-winning, critically acclaimed uh, properties. And you know what's funny? I used to be in the camp of like, these movies are, I mean, these games are so cinematic already. What are you going to contribute? Or what's the point of this? But, you know, Last of Us, you know, showed me that there are so many people who would like this story and will never play the game. Right. So it is worth you know, doing it just because there are people who only, you know, watch passively. They don't play games and that's, it's still a good story. It's worth telling. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, the horror poo movie is out already. Oh, the Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. It's better to say Winnie the Pooh than just horror poo. Horror poop. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's horror poop. Yeah. Uh, well, I was reading it straight from the chat. That's yeah. why. Um, yeah, we'll have to watch it for sure. I also, uh, I, I guess Epi, Epi is going to get us to watch the latest Tomb Raider. Um, yeah. So we're on it. What else? Oh, Toxic Avenger reboot coming yes, soon? Yes, with Peter Dinklage, dude. Wow. But Kevin I'm, Bacon and Elijah Wood. What the yeah, hell? They're all attached. Okay. I'll, I'll believe that when I see it. But yeah, that's what it's been talked about for some time. Uh, Colt says Dead Space. De- uh, Colt, are you talking about like a movie or a TV show? Has that been done yet? No, no right? I mean, that seems like an obvious one, too. I love horror sci-fi, by the way. Like, oh, love it. Alicia Vikander is the name. Yeah, that's the Oh, name of the, the latest Tomb Raider? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I would love a Dead Space um, film or TV show. Either way, I yeah. think it would be awesome. But yeah, so lots of possibilities there. That's um, cool. Hopefully somebody will pick up on, on more of these properties. Moving along, speaking of horror properties... <laughs> that should be a film or TV adaptation. There's some funny news coming out of Diablo 4. Oh. Someone complained to Ad Standards, uh, which is like a council in Australia, mm-hmm. uh, that, a di- that a Diablo 4 billboard reminded them of the hell of lockdown. What? Dude, so apparently in Melbourne, Australia- They were locked down pretty hard. They were, but they, uh, you know, Blizzard got a billboard mm-hmm. that is advertising Diablo 4 and, and it says, says well you were locked down <laughs> it says welcome to hell Melbourne like comma Melbourne um, and then it has Lilith who's the main big bad of mm-hmm. Diablo 4 in the middle and apparently a complainant like said basically reported it and said that it was it was damaging um, that you know her children had to see it and other children had to see it and it's a grotesque and violent image and that for some reason she says um, that it 
reminded her of the lockdown. What, any, was there a reason? Like I, I will I will read you exactly okay. what her complaint Please. was because it's very good. Okay. Go okay. Ahead. It says. Uh, hold on. Let me start from the from the very top. Okay. The words "Welcome to Hell, Melbourne" as part of the advertisement for this game and a picture of a devil are offensive to me as a Christian. Mm. The imagery is also inappropriate for my children to see and has already given them nightmares. The imagery is frightening to children as the demonic looking character is staring at the camera, creating the effect of staring at the observer. It is located in a prominent position beside a very busy freeway where children have a clear view of the very large billboard. Okay. I feel it's inappropriate to show such disgusting and disturbing content on a billboard where <laughs> children are seeing this on a daily basis. It has no context, and for an adult of 43, I found it unsettling. Well, she sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's scary for young children who see it, but I mean, even yeah. as an adult, it brought back memories of the hell of the two years of lockdowns in Melbourne. Well, that's a stretch. The language and words used are not necessary to get across the message about the release of this game. So there's no real context as to why she thinks it reminds yeah, okay. her of the lockdown. I think she's just like, making Locked connections yeah. to like try to to further her point about how upset she is yeah. but thankfully for for everybody else they just laughed uh, the them. ad standards community panel dismissed the complaint in hilarious fashion on the point about religion the panel pointed to the comma between hell and melbourne stressing the ad is not saying the city itself is hell Never forget the important uh, the importance of a well placed comma. <laughs> Does the ad contain violence? The panel didn't think so. It compared the image of Lilith, Diablo 4's antagonist, mm -hmm. to Disney's Maleficent, and even noted a Melbourne Australian rules football club nicknamed the Demons. Oh, isn't that crazy? There's a lot of really fun news coming out of Diablo 4. There was another article I didn't bring on to to the show today because I didn't think that people would get it <laughs> but basically the idea is that like the community of diablo 4 seems like it's losing its mind what? like the re the recent like uh big fad in diablo 4 is somebody on reddit posted that if you um whenever you go into the dungeons if you follow the rats that it will lead you to legendary loot. Oh. And that and and he was like, I had been searching for this one thing for I don't even know how long. And every time I followed the rats, I got the greatest, you know, items and the greatest <laughs> treasure. And and then people started saying, like, oh my God, it worked. And you know what? If you follow other uh you know, basically like background creatures. So like snakes, deer, or whatever. If you follow real rats. No, they, they're saying like, if you follow any animal that's inside of a dungeon, mm -hmm. it will lead you to the correct pack of, of monsters that you have to kill that will give you the right treasure. That's cool. And so everyone's playing like this weird reverse Pied Piper game oh, where they're like just it. like following these animals everywhere. But like Blizzard will not confirm nor deny that this is like built into the game. That's cool. And uh, I, I forgot what else it is, but like they're just coming up with crazy theories for this game. And it's just so funny to see them like wind themselves <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we're having a lot of fun playing it. I am surprised. Yeah, we haven't played it in a little while, but no, no. I was gonna say I am surprised that it caught on the way it did, um, because I don't recognize anything about it that's so different from previous releases. Right. And um, I remember people loving those games too, but not like, man, it really caught on. This sounds like perfect timing. Yeah. It's fun. It's really fun. We sadly have not been able to play as much as we wanted to no. because, you know, we're just busy, but like, we love this game. Love it. I don't recognize my life anymore. I have uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Yeah. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, yes. Legend of Zelda, and this game. And like, when will I ever play any of them again? Who knows? Who even knows? Who even knows? Point? On the plane ride to Comic-Con. Yeah, but that's only going to be uh, Tears of the Kingdom. And we'll, we'll see if I'm not working on the freaking plane. If you're not working. <laughs> but yeah, I love I love Diablo. I can't wait to get back to it. Yeah, uh, a lot of fun. Moving on to more video game news. The first The Last of Us Part 3 story rumors have dropped. Oh, um, God. Please don't read that. Why? Because I don't want spoilers. 
It, there's not. It's really not that much, okay. to be honest. Yeah, like it. It's, really? No, it's, really no, no. It. There's really. It's it's like the most minimal of rumors. Well, if you don't want to know anything, you should mute this for the next, and then Gabby will wave her arms when we're done reading this. Sure, that works. There's your countdown. You got three seconds before I start reading this article. <laughs> to stop paying attention if you don't want to know anything at all. Although there's very much of nothing in this article, okay, but okay, okay, whatever. Um, so. Let's go to the article. Like every almost like every rumor starts to become true these okay, days. I'll just read you what they've said so far. Yeah. Some early rumors regarding Naughty Dog's The Last of Us Part 3 has gone online via several online tweets and scooper Daniel RPK. Oh, he's good. Yeah. Naughty Dog has yet to announce a third entry in the game series, though this report suggests the game is due to start performance capture soon with a casting call for some minor roles in the game allegedly out there. Mm. The report indicates the casting call revolves around a sequence in the game in which a group of scavengers live on a city's outskirts in a Victorian house being used as a base. Mm. There are reportedly five new characters with several in conflict over the group's management, including a young woman, a former soldier, and an affable man who turns dark. Apparently, no mention has been made of Abby, though one scooper suggests Ellie is at least as important in this game as she was in the last. The report remains unconfirmed and thus pure rumor for now. So who knows? I mean, this kind of stuff has to start like the the performance capture and all that has to start way early. Oh, yeah. Um, so it it doesn't surprise me if they've already started, even if like... <sighs> I think it would be ridiculous for them not to make a Last of Us 3. Of course it's going to be made. It's going to be at the end of the generation. So like yeah. some, the other day someone... You mean like end of PS5 generation? Yeah. Damn, they, that's a while away, dude. But that's... Excuse me. That's, that's like they, at least another four or five years. Yeah, but that's what they did with the first two games. So um, the last one came out on the PS4. Yes. And that was 2020. Yes, the end of that era because yeah. the, and the PS5 first came one out came out on the PS3. At the end of PS3. Yes, and so um, this one will come out at the end of the PS5 era. Okay. And that I the other day during that uh, hearing that's happening between Xbox and Microsoft, I'm saying like with their merger, they're seeing if they can get permission to do that merger or the acquisition. Yeah, whatever it is. it's not looking good with well, them someone, trying to lock down Starfield. Right, right. But somebody said that the generation will last. So, someone with insider knowledge during the trials basically confirmed that that the the generation will last a total of like eight years. Oh, okay. All right. So it's going to be a while. Yeah. I mean, if they're just starting yeah, to five cast years. for it. Five yeah. years from now, you'll have yeah. Last of Us 3. Easy, easy. I bet you Last of Us 3 and Skyrim, uh, or sorry, Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be on the next gen. Like, we're not going to see it until... Last of Us 3 won't be on PS5? Or it will. Yeah. It will, but like the timing of it will be the same. Yeah. Either, either, either they're both going to be end of generation yep. or they're going yeah. to be... Or may, I don't know. You never know. Maybe they'll push I'm it and say, you. I'm not going to close out the generation. No I'm going to start way. the new one. No way. You can't do that. I'm just saying. I'm telling I'm confirming that won't happen. Why are you confirming? Because How? Why? Based on what? Based on, and you know this, uh -huh. that you don't release a giant title on a brand new platform with a low install base. You well, have to yes, release that's it. Well, yes, that's true. That's yeah. true. That's true. That that, and then true. that way they can do their special edition Last of Us 3 upgraded only on oh, yeah, like PS6 a, yeah. and all yeah, they could remaster. Do for sure. Do you think it's going to be a PS6 or do you think they'll give it another name? PS6. Really? Yeah, they'll never change. Too late. You have five already. Well, or they're going to go uh, PlayStation. iPhone did it. Remember when they got to iPhone 10, it just turned into X? Yeah, but PlayStation is ahead. Mm. That's the problem with Xbox had to catch up and then everybody had to catch mm. up. So, okay. Yeah, believe me. But I, I'll wait for it. I'll wait for it. Oh, I don't. I don't mind. Where are you going? You're not you going know? anywhere. No, I know. It's not about going anywhere. It's just that I'm. I, I'm not like itching for. No, the it'll next be when it comes out. I'll be happy to play it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. Moving, moving over from <laughs> video games, we're going right back to horror films. Um, this is intriguing because, and the reason why I brought this one up is because, uh, you know, Peter and I really love anthology films, um, and last night. Was it last night or the night before? We watched VHS, which is a oh, yeah. 2012 found footage anthology movie. Yeah. Um, and it's a horror movie. So if you haven't seen it yet. It was fun. 
it's fun. It, it's uh, each each story was directed and written by a different person, which is crazy because one of them. Oh yeah, it was two nights ago because we watched X yesterday. Yeah, but yeah, it was crazy because the, the one of the directors is Adam Winger who directed Godzilla vs Kong, mm. and is doing the new Godzilla vs Kong. Yeah, and then one of the directors was and I forget their name now, but was the director of X and Pearl. Oh. So it's like, but back then they hadn't done these movies yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it was like they were still young directors. Yeah. Cool. Well, anyway, I, I thought it was really interesting. It wasn't my, I don't think it was my favorite of like the anthology ones that no. we've seen so far. I still think that like Trick or Treat is number one for me. Creep Show. Then Creep Show. Then there's another one. Creep Show 2. Isn't it Fright? Fright? No, Fright Night is not no. an anthology. Well, anyway. Um, Tales from the Dark Side. Tales from the Dark Side. That's what I'm thinking of. I don't know why in my brain the covers for both of those look identical. They, there are me. there is a similarity. You're uh, not wrong. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I knew I wasn't crazy. There is it's like the, the like the ghastly monster in the yeah, 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 exactly. But anyway, I I hadn't seen. Well, apparently I had seen VHS because we were watching. And I was like, I remember so much of yeah. this, um, but I didn't remember it enough to not rewatch it and think that I hadn't. Um, so we watched it the other night and. You know, found footage isn't my favorite genre. I love it as a guilty pleasure. I mean, like, I, I, I only say guilty pleasure because everybody seems to trash it, but I really like found footage movies. I'm not trashing it because no, it's found footage. No, my, no. my gripe with found footage is the very motion. personal. Yeah. I get motion sickness um, very easily. Not very easily, but enough of that, like, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like the swaying camera moving from side to side and up and down and twirling around. Um, very reminiscent of um, Cloverfield. Yeah. You know, as somebody is holding a camera while they're running. Did you have that problem with Blair Witch Project? Uh, no, but the Blair Witch Project it didn't found run. footage was a lot more steady. Yeah. Um, there were definitely moments of chaos, but for the most part, it was steady. But um, by the way, VHS was crazy. Like some of yeah. the scenes were so it was too much. I was gonna say, by the way, if anybody thinks this was gonna be a fast one like Godzilla last time, wrongo. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be fast. No, this one's because there's so many little. In order to do a toxic Avenger face that like feels like Toxie, uh -huh. they got all these like little undulating like cremulous pustules. Cremulous. I love the word cremulous. We use it a lot in this. That's house. a word that we made up in our in in our lives. Cremulous. When someone is like eating a rich meal. Yes. Say, oh, it's quite cremulous. Yes. It's very cremulous of you to eat. Um, <laughs> that's what came out of Peter's veins there when they took yeah, his blood. Cremulous. It was a cremulous substance. A we don't really know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we said, don't look at that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so VHS was super fun. If you haven't seen it, it's a good yeah, one. It's a fun one. You have to rent it, unfortunately, yeah, or it's buy it. It's not streaming anywhere, but it was good. Um, I don't know that I would watch VHS two only because it was. I'm gonna so, watch it. I'm it was like it. so. Much, I I kind of hope it's better. I looked it up, and uh, and I don't think it's gonna be much better for your sake in terms mm. of the motion cam, but. It's got a cool alien one I want to watch. Well, as long as I can surf on my phone at the same time. Yeah. But yeah, I like the stories, especially the first one was really good. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think it's worth checking out yeah, if you're fun. if you're like us and you've watched a lot of horror films, you're starting to run out of shit. That, that would be a good one. Yeah. We, we're, uh, uh, the funny thing is we're having more fun going back in our back catalog yeah. of the things that we've missed than watching new stuff lately. Yes. Isn't that funny, dude? Yeah. No, I believe it because we, we had a lot. We had kind of a big shame list. Yeah. And we just watched X speaking of just, last night. Yeah. Just watched yeah. it last night for the first time. It was good. Yeah, it was good. I, I got to say, I, it was not as scary as I thought it was going to be. No. Um, I got like when I was watching the um, the trailers, I kind of got like a new Texas Chainsaw vibe off of it. Yeah. And um, it certainly isn't that. It certainly is not. Uh, but it, I don't know. I, I think I because my expectations were so high, I felt a little bit left let out, let down um, by what ended up happening in the film. Yeah. Um, but and, and, and but I'm not going to judge Pearl by that. No, and simultaneously it triggered me because it's one what? of my. Oh yes. Well, I, I don't want to spoil it in case anybody's seen, but it's one of my uh, like weird phobias. Yeah, you so, can say what it is. Nah, nah. 
No, because I just spoil it for people who haven't seen it. Well, if you don't want to hear it. By the way, you never waved your hands to tell people that you're done with Last oh, of Us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sure they came back. Yeah. I wasn't that much of a spoiler. No, you're right. You're right. It wasn't. Um, let's see. Oh, see, as Franklin says, I think you'd enjoy Pearl more. I hope so. Yeah, I, I heard that too. People like Pearl more. Yeah, I hope so. Because X kind of let me down. Like, but even I, the cover art made it seem so yeah. like horrifying. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to need it to really like hold on for this one and I nothing. Did th- I did think the cool thing about it and I told you this last night is I thought that it was like you know it was an interesting and original concept yeah yeah I, yeah. I, I honestly can't say that I feel like I've seen that no I have not either before. so that, I'll give it points for that and I did like some of the characters that got killed pretty early um like like you liked that they died no or you I, liked, I liked, you liked the them. characters you know I thought I was I mean liked in the sense that I was enjoying the group um yes i definitely uh so i feel like when they do these types of films where it's like uh there's going to be a final girl kind of situation Mm -hmm. which this definitely uh falls into that category of like last last person alive sort of situation um i feel like one of the most important things that you have to do in those stories is to create a lot of hate or distaste or disgust for the, the victims. Yes, and that's what I was trying to say. Is it like and they I really liked, they kind of did that in a very subtle way. Yeah, because they weren't doing anything awful. No, but some of them were just like annoying. Yeah. But then, but then there were some uh, victims that I really liked, Me and too. when they died, I was like, yeah. kind of horrified because I really liked that character. Me too. And I was like, I was hoping to see this one in a sequel. One day yeah. And so it, it is really, um, it's I think, good in that sense. I think they did a, yeah, it was not heavy handed the way that they, no. that they did that. And, and it felt good. It's yeah. just that, I don't know, I guess, I guess my expectations were too high. I think we were too worried about it being like another Hills have eyes, which uh, is, yeah, yeah. you and I do not, you and I share that we do not like, do not like Hillbilly horror. Hillbilly horror is a, is a no, bummer, thank bro. You. It yeah. bums it me works. out. It works. I'll, I'll just work. say it works on us. It does work. Uh, <laughs> so I, I don't know. I kind of, uh, yeah, yeah Colt says Jenna Ortega is so good in it. Yeah, she's, she's awesome. really great. She's in becoming, it. she's quickly becoming like my favorite. She's like a horror, right a now. horror movie draw. Yeah, she's a darling. But she's not getting like typecast in it either. No. Like she's doing enough stuff. Yeah, she's playing the field, which and good she, for her. Yeah. Good for her. But yeah, she did great in it. Um, Mia Goth. Oh, that's her name. Yeah, great. That can't be her real name. It is, oh, I don't know. She's another one name. who's like staying in the genre. Yeah, but I like her a lot. Yeah, um, she's awesome. So I'm looking forward to watching Pearl only because I am now curious to see the thread that they're trying to like build between. Because then they're coming out with the third one. Oh, do they? Fit? I'm sure they are. But it, do it's they called officially? Maxine. Oh, and who's Maxine? Oh. Maxine is Mia Goth's character oh, in X. That's right. So it's like a sequel. So to I kind of like this like trilogy situation. We're going like back and forth in time. Super um, cool. So I'm I'm into it. I just you know. Yeah, I love the character of Maxine. Yeah, and I like her. You know what's funny? I had only seen the in- Infinity Pool. And she was not a very likable character in that movie. Oh, I didn't know she was in it. Yeah. Oh, I think you told me yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she was not likable in that movie. So I was like, ugh, Mia God, man. I was like typecasting her. And then I saw her and so I'm like, I love her in this one. So like, I'm happy to like her now. Isn't that stupid? Yeah. Like, I'm so sensitive to the role. Yeah, you're a little on the sensitive I'm side for child. these things. <laughs> yeah, just a bit of a child. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, that was, that was a great one. So I'm sorry, we went off on a tangent oh, yeah, because... Yeah. <laughs> The news here is that there is a new found footage oh. film called Puzzle Box. Okay. Uh, and it is an Aussie horror film that is going to premiere virtually at Popcorn Frights in August. Well, clearly it's a reference to Hellraiser. You think so? Oh, yeah. Puzzle, Puzzle Box. Box. Yeah. Um, I am looking forward to this. I saw some of the stills. Here's the official plot rundown from uh, the actual, like the description of the film. The story follows Kate a desperate addict who seeks refuge in a remote house in the woods to self-rehabilitate, where she is joined by her younger sister, Olivia, to document the process. Why would you want to document that? Like, why would you want to document yourself going through everybody like cold turkey today. rehab? Yeah, I guess you have a point. Um, little do they know, the house harbors a dark secret. It's very Has walls. Has no Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's, that is really terrifying, actually. It's very walls shifting and twisting like a nightmarish labyrinth, ensnaring them in an unfathomable puzzle. 
As they claw for answers with each twist and turn, they awaken an unspeakable evil lurking within, far more terrifying than their own demons. As they race against time to unlock the mystery and break free, fear takes on new dimensions where every step could lead to their terrifying demise. That sounds fun. So, you know, uh, like... I'm I'm interested. The the person who directed this, uh, his name is hold on one second. It's a weird name. Jack Dignan mm -hmm. uh, is being hailed as the new James oh, Wan, the Australian do James Why do Wan. They do that? I know I kind of don't like that either, but well, that's what they're saying. Yeah. Um, and he says uh, his you know talking about his inspiration for going. Uh, for the found footage format. Mm -hmm. uh, Puzzle Box isn't a film I ever thought I would make. After my first film, which is called After She Died, I have not seen that one. Mm -hmm. uh, after my first film came out, I didn't expect this to be what I worked on next. I wasn't planning on doing a small, little self-contained found footage horror movie ever in my life, let alone right at this moment. But once the idea came to me, I knew I had to make it. There was something special about it, something scary and exciting and fresh, and the process of making it thrilled me. I had to do it, and it was an experience I hold dear to my heart. This is a very special movie to me for a number of reasons, and a special movie like this needs the right festival to premiere at, which is why I was thrilled to hear that Popcorn Frights wanted to host our world premiere. This is a festival I've, admi I've admired from afar for quite some time. They embrace the weird, the wonderful, and the frightening. And having gotten a sneak peek at what's in store at this year's festival, I'm honored to be included among such wonderful movies. Um, so Popcorn Frights is exclusive. It's August 12th through the 20th. Um, and I'm not... They haven't posted a uh, release date for it after the fact. Um, here's some stills, in case you were wondering. Lots of spooky night vision, uh -huh. people facing walls. We love to see it. We know something scary is happening there. <laughs> Definitely people hiding out in a bathroom with an Ikea rug behind them. Also <laughs> scary. She looks definitely uh, not happy. Uh, scary women with mouths that are too wide, like unhinged oh, jaws. Yeah, no, Lots good. of blood coming out of it. Knife in hand. Definitely yeah, look, you know, a bad look. that's a bad look. We'll scare a few people. And here is the key art for it looking good they're yeah. really heavily featuring this lady with a bloody mouth yeah, gotta scary. say uh but yeah it looks cool i'll play the trailer but it will have to be without any um sound so but you can at least watch it here but yeah this this is the kind of shit that i'm talking about like when they're walking or running with the camera and it's just like swinging back oh. and forth up and down like it's just so unnatural that's just not the way that people <laughs> see things and it bums me out um but Newer, f I, f I find that newer found footage relies less on that type of yeah. like, frantic movement. Like if you've ever seen Paranormal Next of Kin, which I love, that's oh, a yeah. found footage film, uh, but it's a lot more chill. Because Yeah, but because the premise of the film is that they were filming a documentary. Yeah, but still, like it, it's, it's a clever way to do found footage without making you sick. Well, we talked about it the other day. Like why can't, like in found footage movies, they always like have so much... Uh, what's that uh, exposition to explain yeah. things? So why don't they go? And I got myself one of these Osmo boom arms to make the footage. I know. Really just good. tell me. Just tell me that, that you got a gimbal. Yeah, it's okay. It. Yeah. It's it, they're a hundred dollars now. Like yeah, they're it's super, super cheap. believable. <laughs> and it's super believable that a random person would have a gim gimbal now. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I, and I, and when I said that the other, I'm like, you know what? We should call Hollywood. We should call Hollywood. Get them on the phone. Call all the Hollywoods. Get them on the phone. Hollywood. Hollywood, get gimbals for every one of your yeah. found footage films. I just have that scene. Got my trusty gimbal, get ready to go. Ready to rock. Oh, oh, scary. Lots of blood in the mouth. Uh-huh. It looks fun. I'm definitely going to watch it when yeah. it comes out. I I'm will a look sucker for, for that kind of stuff. I, am too. I, I love that stuff. I love the found footage. Yeah. I'm yeah. into it. And you're coming around. Like, I think you're getting yeah. a little bit less sensitive. I am it. getting a little less sensitive. Anyway, moving along to a movie that I'm not looking forward to. Uh-oh. <laughs> Venom 3. Uh. <laughs> what's, the, what's the song? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the Venom, 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 Venom. Uh, John R. Price wants to know what's the best found footage movie. Um, well, I was talking about this yesterday. I don't know. And I'll tell you what my favorite one has been. Okay, go ahead. I'm a little biased, but it's called Air. I think it's called Area 51. 
doing oh, it. Oh, so yeah. It is called a, Area 51. It's basically a, a found footage movie of a group of people who break into Area 51. Yeah. But I found it very satisfying of a film compared to like what I would have expected the movie to be. Right, yeah. a lot of these found footage movies come out and they're just like, uh, clearly they don't have the budget for anything else. So they do yeah. a lot of misdirect and this, that, and... But sometimes they do, a, you know, and then we love Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. I loved, uh, to me, it's a toss up between the marked ones and Next of Kin. But you haven't watched uh, Area 51. Yeah, but uh, you know, Aliens is not my thing. I know, so she's I, scared. I truly don't think that that's going to be it for yeah, me. Yeah, Gabby's scared of Aliens. Like, that's I one am. of her phobias. Yes, so. welcome. So, yeah, I don't think that that'll, it'll do it for me, but I definitely love the marked ones. I thought it was so funny. Yeah. Uh, I love the actors. I love their chemistry with each other. It was so good. Yeah, that's a great and underrated, overlooked movie. Yeah, and then the next of kin, I just, I really like, like, spooky. By the way, these are paranormal activity movies. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. They're paranormal activities uh, films. They're so good. Uh, but yeah. anyway, watch, okay. Watch both of those because they kind of came out, like... Yeah, they didn't like they they didn't really come out with a splash. And if you guys want something fun to watch, I think they're both on what service? Paramount Plus. Yeah, I right. Believe. Yeah, I believe yeah. it's Paramount Plus. And they're and if you have Paramount, they're super fun. You don't need yeah. to watch any of the other ones, although no. they do reward people who've seen the other ones. But sure. you don't have to. But watch you don't it. need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, okay. So Venom Three set photo confirms connection to Tom Hardy's MCU Spider-Man No Mo Way Home appearance. Yeah. A new Venom 3 set photo featuring Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock reveals a connection to his last appearance, which was in the mid-credits scene. Uh, I feel like I don't care. I'm, I have to refrain. <laughs> God. I'm going to refrain from any comments or about this movie because I may have seen and heard some things officially and unofficially. Oh. So I'm just going to not say anything. Well, I it says, keep my job. it says thanks to a new set photo shared by Hardy, a new hint about the Venom three story has been revealed, or at least where the story picks up following Venom. Let there be carnage. The British star shared on Instagram, a cryptic image that he made clear was from the Venom three set through the caption. But it's what Eddie is wearing that's more striking as he's wearing the same clothes as seen in both the Venom Let There Be Carnage and Spider-Man No Way Home credits scene. Mm. And this is the Instagram image so you can see he's still wearing the um, the Hawaiian shirt with the city thing underneath. Oh. You can kind of see they're the exact same um the exact same outfit. Full disclosure, I had so much fun with the first Venom movie. I did not think I was going to like it. It was okay. Yeah, it wasn't. I must think it was a great movie. Yeah. But it was a fun movie. Yeah. And I'm some, look, we're carving a Toxic Avenger portrait. You know, like clearly yeah. there's room in my heart for movies that aren't necessarily great quality, but have something to it that's fun. And the first Venom was like that for me. I did not feel the same way about the second one. I feel like the second one really missed the mark. Um, you know, and, um, but Hey, I still enjoyed the dynamic between Eddie and, uh, the symbiote. Yeah. I, I, in the first movie, it was great. In the second movie, not so much. Yeah, it was hard um, to but, into. uh, but so everyone's asking like, Oh, does this mean that they're going to, you know, acknowledge all this stuff? And it's like, well, we don't know because yeah. Sony has been known to do weird things with yeah. like their choices of whether we acknowledge or not. Yeah. So we just have to wait and see, I guess. Uh, which will definitely be a view at home for me. Yeah, I don't know if I'm running to the theater for it. Nah. It has like the reviews have to come out and be ex exceptional. Yeah. If the reviews are exceptional, then I will go for sure. Yeah, but but I I don't see that happening. Um, <laughs> Rich Rich says Tom Hardy is one of the best actors. I agree. I love Tom Hardy yeah, so much, and easily. it pains me that he is like attached to this series. Because he's so much better than this. Doesn't pay pain him; it pays him. Oh! Wow! Yeah, I'll just let that one sit. Yeah, I'll just let it sit. Just let it marinate. Yeah. Pays him. Anyway, so okay. Well, that's the news. Yeah. Uh, that's all I've got for today. Um, oh no! Am I on news? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You're almost well, done almost anyway. Done, done, done. Um, I think that maybe now we can do another drawing for a baby talk rope. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna open up the form one more time. Uh, for anybody who came late to the uh, to the stream, um, if you've already filled out the form, if you filled it out earlier in the stream, you do not have to fill it out again. Um, this is only for people who did not get a chance to do it earlier. So I'm going to pop it in the chat. Okay, hold on. Here we go. 
Uh, give away link incoming. Incoming. I'll learn how to spell one day. In three, two, one. And there it is. Good luck. <laughs> hey, so can we take this moment while I'm finishing up and while people are filling out to point people over to our mailing list on our new site? Oh, yeah. If, if you are interested in receiving updates. Oh, I forgot to send it out today. You just reminded me. Wrote, it's been I, really I busy down. lately, yeah, guys. No, um, but yeah, if you are interested at all in receiving uh, email updates from us, we are sending updates about the stream and about sales, etc. Um, so if that is of any interest to you, please go to attackpeter.ink. Attack can you pull the site without collapsing OBS? It's in the description box okay. below, so you can find it there. Um, and there's a email newsletter sign up form that yeah. you can sign up just to. put your email address in we're not doing any spam we don't nope. Nope. we nope. don't in do fact, a million in fact i forgot to even use it today yeah and so <laughs> it's so so it will be very infrequent it will only be for the most important of things and only the things that i remember to do so yeah and next week there will be one <laughs> informing people about this dream correct i will remember this time and we'll put it into my calendar um but yeah so anyway uh if you would like to sign up for this giveaway the form is open i'll probably leave it open only for like another minute or so because most of you have already entered um if you already entered you don't need to do it again just saying yeah but oh jared <laughs> jared uh Weirich says his uh husky says hi oh. ah, he's wonton's new best friend and also they're on both on ufo watch <laughs> which i love <laughs> they're on ufo watch yes what does that mean that's part you didn't read the email i don't read I, I, happens, I guess bro. he doesn't read yeah, uh, he says he's going to be uh, looking out for UFOs, oh. and uh, and he will let Tony know of any incoming threats. I am on such a fucking yes, UFO alien kick right now. Yes, I mean, you are. my whole life. Yeah, my but, whole life. but recently it's been. But I am like I don't want to watch anything else. I'm behind on some of the stuff I normally watch and and listen to. I just I am like all aboard. I want to know everything about the UFO stuff. I saw an awesome documentary recently called uh, Moment of Contact. If you're a big UFO nerd like me, strongly recommend. And so, yeah, I am just like you said, he's watching UFOs. I'm like, what? 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 Did you know that Sedona, where we were, is one of the f biggest like UFO hotbeds? Yeah, I believe it. Because they have that whole like the vortex. Uh, vortex thing. Yeah, yeah, that does not surprise me at all. Okay, I am closing the form. I hope you got your responses in. I'm going to use this to draw names. The only name I will not draw is Carl's because he already won. So <laughs> sorry, Carl. All right, here we go. Turning off the sheet in three, two, one. All right, sheet is closed. I'm gonna go ahead and pull names. Let me just refresh this so that I can get the fresh batch of names. Uh, and this will be for the final Baby Takaro. Yes. Uh, so if Special you're watching print. So again, it's the standalone print. It is not. Yeah, it's the, just the baby Takaro mini print. Yes, correct. It's but there's, I'm not selling these separately. So the only way to get one is either to pick up a copy of the Godzilla versus Takaro print tonight momentarily correct. or to win this one that you're about to pull a drawing for. Yes. All right. Let me just go ahead and pull while up you're doing the that. Giveaway. I'm going to. Huh? Okay. Here's the giveaway form and. Here we go. Let's see. A lot of people today. 76 people signed up. Hey. Yeah. It's a big list. All right. And our final winner of the evening is MIA Monkey 930. Congratulations. Hey. Pipe up on the chat so that everybody like can. Local. Yeah, it does, right? But maybe it's not. Who knows? Uh, but congratulations, MIA Monkey. We will send, be sending you your Baby Takaro print very soon. All right. So before we make the uh, print available for uh -huh, purchase, uh -huh. should we, I, I'd love to know how many people are watching for the first time tonight. If you are, just put a one in the chat. If you're oh, brand yeah. new, this is your first time watching. Put and a one in the chat so we can say hi. Yeah. And if you've been watching us since our first streams a few years ago, put a nine in the chat a nine yes. why nine it's very different from one it's a very different number from one <laughs> it's in fact it's all the way on the other side of the keyboard all right. so fill the airspace for a minute here while i go and print uh okay i'll just turn print. up the background music while i yes. try to get that link for the sale ready for yes. you yes there you go mm -mm -mm. There you go. You get a little music now 
Here it is, by the way. I didn't show it. Did I finish? Here is the finished carving of the Toxic Avenger. Yeah. I think he's awesome. Toxie. Yeah. We love Toxie in this house. So look, we got Skeletor. Look at these little portrait series, dude. Doing a little series. Look Godzilla. At you. You're doing the thing. Toxie. Look at that, man. Come on, so, show him around. Yeah. So can see him. There you go. Wow, lots of people. Who put a three in the chat? Wow. What does that even mean? Terrorist. A four. <laughs> a couple of new people. We've got uh, Michelle Marley. Hi, welcome. You're new and we love it. Welcome in. Uh, Louisa V, welcome. Uh, let's see, anybody else who's new? Everybody else is an old school person. Somebody put 666. You, 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 know, you know what to do. <laughs> um, okay, so the link for the sale, I'm going to be putting it into the chat uh, soon. I think Shelby is here. Shelby, if you're here, can you, can you say hi in the chat? Um, and let me know where that link is because I can't find it right now, <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, that will be going up and I'll, I'll make sure to pin it to the chat too so you can find it easily. How many are uh, in stock? 50. 50. So there's only, it says closed edition of 50. Again, they are already available. They are already signed, oh, numbered, shit. stamped. They're sitting in the Skybound warehouses ready to ship out as soon yeah. as the sale is over. Yeah, they, I've all, I printed these out uh, a few months ago, actually. Yeah. And I shipped them over there, so they are ready to rock. You will not have to wait long for your print. Correct. Look at that sweet, sweet ink. Still, still waiting for Shelby to pipe up on the chat to let me know when that link is going to be available. I wonder if she's going to put it in the chat for us. That would be wonderful. Less work for me. I'm already tired, man. Oh, man. It's been a long day. This we have to get up early for that blood draw. Dude, I am beat. I am beat too. I feel like I didn't recover from it, you know? You didn't bounce back. I've had 300 milligrams of caffeine today. Well, I didn't have that much caffeine. But I never, I don't know. Is, does anybody else have that problem when you get blood drawn that you just feel like bleh for the rest of the day? Because I just never bounce back. I tried everything. I tried caffeine, sugar, carbs, everything. And I just still feel like ugh. You don't have the email with the link? Huh? No, Shelby's here. Oh. She's in the chat. She's going to help us oh, out. Okay. Yeah. Shelby will post the link and then I will copy it and I will post the link to the pin. All right, disregard so my text, Shelby. I was just seeing if you were with <laughs> Yeah, she's here. She's here. Um, but yeah, I, I wish, I hope to not do that again for the rest of the year. Let's put it that the way. Blood draw, yeah. Yeah, because like last year I got my blood drawn a lot. I had to get my blood drawn for, for reasons um, and it was very uncomfortable and awful. Um, but this year I'm hoping that it will be a one and done situation because man, it friggin' sucks. And which is funny because I am a... Uh, I am I am very tattooed and so you'd think that I wouldn't have issues with needles but ew yeah ew Cameron says try blood <laughs> try drinking blood oh, yeah. to recover from having blood <laughs> taken uh, pretty funny oh, Mr. Funny Guy yeah oh I just finished dialysis and I'm exhausted so yeah yeah oh. that sounds really exhausting and that's all the time yeah yeah, no, I'm 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 very fortunate. Knock on wood that this is usually only a one 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 time a year ordeal for me. Wow, look at that toxic. Yeah. What's the size of that print? This one, that I'm, this one right here. Yes. It's like five by seven. Okay, there you go. Somebody in the chat was asking. So yeah, there you I'm go. trying to five keep these seven. all uh, little mini prints. Okay. So they are when we start giving them away. Um, they're not like a whole. Right. Yeah. Thing. I need like a placeholder image for when the news is over. You do? Yeah. Does it make it, a note to yourself? I know. I, there's so many. Yeah, but you can also go to a different template. A different like, template. Like it could be the same exact <laughs> oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like yeah. right now it could be the same exact thing, but instead of the news, it's like yes. me and you stack. Yes, yes, yes. Well, why don't you write that down for yourself? Because we will forget that. Will. All right. So here is the reveal of Tuxi. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Hey, thank you. Do we have an explosion sound effect? Yes. Which one is it? Hey! <laughs> Watch. Do it. Ready? Yeah. One, two, two, three. Nice. Wow, yeah. that was really good timing. <laughs> and if I get that sound 
button thing on, on my table, you're in real trouble. Oh, I know. Peter wants me to get him like a, a basically a control board for his desk so he can control the stream from his desk. Yes. And if he get when I get him that, you guys are never gonna come back to our stream. No. He will be drunk with power. No, I will only be using it like in a moment where you have to like like for example today where you wanted to load up some things. Yeah. I could kind of like do some scene shifting or sound things to keep it going. Sure. Yeah, we'll figure yeah. that out. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> well, there's Toxie. Yes. Well, uh, the link, by the way, thank you, Raph, so much. Can you pin, Raph, if you can pin that, that would be fantastic. Um, the oh, link for the, up. yeah, oh. it got put up already. Run, don't walk, folks. Yeah. Uh, Giovanni is number one. Oh, sick. Yeah. Gio, thank you. Remember, throw a plus one in the chat if you got one. Oh, Paul, thank you. Uh, thank you guys so much. Again, if you could pin that into the chat, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Talk awesome. to looks great. All right. Adam got his. Yeah, yeah. he was concerned. Thank you, dude. <laughs> um, are you... So this is going to be one of the ones that we make available for subscriptions yes. eventually, yes. right? So yeah. my goal... Our goal with these, we've talked about it. Our goal with these is when we set up the Patreon, which I think we'll probably launch it at this point, what, right after Comic-Con? Uh-huh. Uh, right after Comic-Con, we'll launch the Patreon and these prints... Because I, I legally, I'm not allowed to sell them and I'm not going to because, you know, it's it's a whole thing. But we can do giveaways. So what I'd like to do is do giveaways uh, on Patreon for all of the these prints. Like maybe we do like a limited like two or three or like uh, of each and then that's it. And then at some point we can do a giveaway of the block and depending on your Patreon tier and all that kind of stuff. Or I, I could probably sell the blocks legally because they're just one-off studies. Yeah. Um, but not sure how we'll go about that yet. Uh, Mr. Landfear says, Peter, would you be willing to print a few for the trauma team? I think he worked for the oh. trauma team. That's why. Yeah, hit me up, me. dude. Yeah, uh, you can you can hit up Peter through DM on Instagram. Um, but you can if you want to email us, it's info at attackpeter.int. I think it's in the description box below or in the about section of the YouTube channel. Yeah. You can find our contact information there. Uh, but you can always just hit us up through DM on Instagram as well. Yeah. You know what I really want from the trauma team? I mean, look at me. I'm wearing the fucking shirt. I know. I, I want the, the the silicone mask that you guys bring to all your events. Oh. So. Does Immortal Masks not No, that? that's not Immortal. It's, really? I think it's Composite Effects. Oh. And uh, if the, it, I would love to do an official trade. Maybe like maybe well, maybe something fun like that, but yeah, that let me awesome. know, Mr. Lamphere, sir, and uh, <laughs> yeah, and we'll figure something out. By the sure. way, uh, Takaro versus Godzilla is still available. Oh. Seems like we have a little less than twenty eight left. Okay, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get in there. Get yeah, it done. We didn't. I I didn't go super hard promoting the stream today. Yeah, so, well, we were so I know busy. so. I'm not surprised that if there's a few left, but take advantage if you're here and you want it, grab it because my Godzilla prints are usually really hard to get, as you know. Yeah. And uh, this one is kind of like official Toho, baby. Yeah, it's officially it's official Toho. It's got the Toho Does it, stamp. It has the stamp. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was gonna say it has the official Toho stamp in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it I has believe the, it does. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, again, yeah, the, it'll just be com composite effects. Just put more on sale. Yeah, but what can, can we do a trade? Don't you guys have one? Look at me. I'm such a good, like, trauma acolyte. <laughs> That's true. And by the way, I, I just heard that Troma's YouTube channel got taken down. Oh, no. For some reason. I didn't, I didn't know I that. I don't have the full deets on it, but I saw Lloyd on Instagram. Lloyd Coffin, for those of you who don't know, founder of Troma, creator of Toxic Avenger. Uh, talking about it. I don't know what happened there. I feel terrible for that, uh, about that, but, um, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, uh, the print run is 50. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh, they only have one for conventions. Ah. That sucks. We need to talk to composite effects. Yeah. No, they hit me up. I just don't want to drop that money right now on that thing. They hit you up already? Because I, I, I reached oh, out asked? to them before I had purchased. Because oh. I, before I got my Halloween costume for this year. Oh, you were going to do Toxie. I was considering either what I ended up choosing. Don't say anything. I won't. Or Toxie. You were going to do Toxie last year. Well, I had a fake Toxie costume last yeah. year. Yeah, well, because the mask that you have, yes. one of the masks that he owns. It's a little mutant is mutant -y. You can show yeah. it if you want. Yeah. You have the, you have, I can put you on the one. All right, he's going to show you his fake Toxie mask. Yeah, it's a cool ass mask. 
Yeah. Is it a cool ass mask? Yeah, or the is ass it a is cool ass mask? <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like an ass. But it's awesome. Yeah. And it had like a tox like a toxic mutant vibe, but it's not toxic, so yeah. I ended up not doing it. And he bought everything. I he have bought the tutu, the, tutu, the, mop. the mop, everything. He was like going in on being toxic uh this the last year and then at the last minute he like pivoted to well show them what you did last year well it's, it's on my a, instagram my little oh that's name. true yeah it's another immortal mask yeah. but it was like more like undead but i had told i had reached out to composite effects i'm like are you gonna bring this back and they're like maybe we think we're gonna try and bro i couldn't wait yeah when the immortal mask sale went on uh when i went, I went live i had to pull the trigger and i'm like now i'm not in the market for an extra mask yeah but yeah Maybe, maybe Tromo, we can figure out like some fun, you know, deal or some kind. Well, maybe he, he says he thinks he can get you a discount. Yeah. So, okay, let's yeah, talk he'll, after. He'll slide into your DMs. No, you slide, yeah, slide into my DMs <laughs> and we can talk. Because uh, one way or another, it'd be fun to do something official too. Yeah. Like, maybe, yeah, maybe there's something we'll like we'll that. Figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyway. Anyway, you guys. Thank you so that much was fun. for hanging out with us. That was so much fun. Um, we. We, we carved a Toxie. We carved Toxic Avenger. We, we talked tell, about you know, the and, news. And the Toxic Avenger, America's hero. America's hero. Not Captain America. We love the monster. Not Superman. Yeah, we love the monster hero. And uh, <laughs> uh, on this eve of the July, well, the day after July 4th, in our Independence Day celebrating our country, what better way to celebrate than with America's hero? So if you were here and you saw the whole thing, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. That was Start to Finish Carved Live on the stream for your entertainment. Gabby read us the news, and that was excellent. We had learned so much. We learned a lot. Like, I get sick when I watch found footage films. And Gabby has an unbridled hatred of all theater uh, <laughs> people, <laughs> trauma students. Why? Unreal. <laughs> now you know, never we said hold nothing back. <laughs> but And thank you all for uh, to those of you who were able to pick up one of uh, the special edition Godzilla vs. Takoro prints. Super excited about There's that. There's still a few left in the shop. It looks like tw maybe 20, maybe a little bit less. Sweet. Um, so definitely pick one up if you yeah. haven't already. Uh, the link will be in the chat. Uh, it is available in the Skybound store. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for the support. We yeah, love you guys. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, always send us your recommendations or your suggestions for the next portrait. We'll be doing yeah. another one next week, right? Yes, we will. Next week we have a stream. No print drops next week, I don't think. Uh, no print drops. But there will be next giveaways. Week. Yes. I have so many fun things in the vault to give away. I just found something that's really cool. That I'll talk about next week. That would be a fun giveaway. Ooh. And then getting ready for uh, tomorrow night. Remember, tomorrow night, collect all monsters. Yes. Go show them some love. Subscribe to their channel. It's such a, it's just a good, wholesome, super fun celebration of all things monsters and kaiju and all that kind of stuff. So Hector and I will be on there tomorrow talking about the James Groman Godzilla and other things pertaining to Godzilla and Kaiju, etc. And then again, uh, get ready to see us at Comic-Con. Gabby and I are going to be going to San Diego Comic-Con. We'll be around. Just we'll a be, couple more weeks. Yeah, we'll be hanging out for sure at the Mondo booth, but we'll also be making the rounds. So if you're going to be there, please try and come find us and say what's up. We, we might have a tough time trying to come find you, but we would love to see you if you come find us. We're hard to miss. Yeah. I mean, no, we're very short, we're so, so we're short. hard to miss, but if you no, spot my hair, it's, it's yeah. easy yeah, yeah, yeah. to find me. But anyway, thank you guys so much. <laughs> love you very much. Love you guys. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.